there, fellow collectors. Welcome back to another episode of Sneak Peek, episode number six. I'm your host, Evil Sneaker, and I have, for the second time on the show, the man, the myth, the new one six legend, <laughs> YouTube world, Justin, nice. aka How Ya Figure. What's up, bro? How you doing tonight on this uh, this fine, snowy in my my area, snowy oh, Friday wow. night? Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing good, man. That was a great intro for me. I feel oh, like you started it off with it. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, man. That sounds great. Uh, See, backstage, sometimes it might seem like I'm a little flustered going into the show. But yeah. Then once we start the show, it's game time. Yeah, dude. Baby. A, a, sw a switch game goes time. on. I don't man. miss. <laughs> yeah, dude. A switch goes on, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, nah, man. I'm excited, man. Got uh, even though it's kind of been a slow week in terms of figures and stuff, like. It's still a lot of a lot to talk about. I feel like we got like a lot to talk about on the show, which is cool. Like, which is exciting. Some new stuff to talk about. Yeah, for sure, man. It's gonna be an exciting show. We got some uh, some good topics, and then it was really nice because you know we were talking about the topics everyone's talking about this Umbra Trooper, and then out of the blue today, just randomly goes live. So that'll be fun to kind of talk about that and what your experience was with the lottery and mine as well. But yeah, uh, yeah. So cool to get like kind of like an announcement and then it gets released immediately and then the day we're going to be streaming talking about it is when the lottery hits uh so very cool for that to happen um there was one other thing i'm gonna say oh yeah so like how's the weather by you right now currently it's been overcast and like drizzling and raining i mean the past few days we've had a ton of storms and like rain and all kinds of stuff but today's just been more a little chilly a little uh very overcast you know, just a good Friday night stream weather is what I like yeah. to say, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we uh, got a winter weather advisory yesterday, or I guess like we got the winter weather advisory warning thing yesterday. But yeah, I got like six inches of snow at my house today. <laughs> it's like crazy, but you're going to lose, you're gonna lose your internet, aren't you? I hope no, dude, do not put that on me. <laughs> do not put that on me, please. I remember that one please. stream you lost it a few times. You're like, I'll be back. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like, it sucked when I lost my internet and it was gone for like four or five days um oh my gosh that's and then brutal. it ended up happening again I, yeah it was bad i don't want to think about that Th think let's about not talk that about it. let's move on from it Steve. let's, let's not not talk about let's about move it. on let's move on but uh yes yeah, so yeah. it's snowing and it's crazy but um yeah man excited excited to chat with you tonight happy to have you on the show again i know we've been kind of chatting back and forth uh i can't tell if you're joking or not you're always uh you're always tricking me <laughs> yeah I i'm hoping eventually you'll We'll, we'll know each other well kidding. enough. Oh, we'll no, catch I, oh, okay, I know plenty. I know plenty well at this point. All right, cool. Because I, I don't like to put LOL. I like to kind of yeah. leave it up for interpretation. You know. Yeah. Good. Okay. No, nah, but just... I'm excited, man. As always, dude. I won't go on and on about it. But uh, as always, thank you for having me on, man. I'm really excited to chat with you. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, let's get to the chat. We got some folks in here. We got Brad Cormack in the house saying hello, everyone. What the hello there, emoji? A channel member. Thank you, Brad Cormack, for being here, bro. Good to see you. And we got Quan Harper in the house. What's up, Quan? He says, hello, everyone. Hello to you. Hello to you. We got one six Star Wars Pimpazoid. What's up? Did you get that Umbra Arc Trooper today? Ooh, did we? We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. You got to you gotta wait for the first. It's going to be the first segment, so it's not going to be uh, not going to be very long. But uh, yeah, we're going to chat about it. Brad says, we had snow in northern Michigan for a few days. Yeah, northern Michigan's even worse than where I'm at. So yeah, we got Christian Cooper in the house saying, what's good, guys? What is up, Christian? How you doing, bro? He says, goaded panel. Wow, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, uh, channel member, the Jedi Knights watch in the house. And hey, guys, thanks for the invite. Hey, if you want to jump on the show, you're more than welcome to. Go on your computer and... Absolutely. I'll send you the link. Just just go. don't talk. Just still give me my time to shine, Graham, if you jump on. <laughs> That's all I ask. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Graham, for being here. We got Brick Artemis in the house. And what's up, fellas? What's up, Bricky? How you doing, bro? Hey, Brick. How you doing, you? man? Oh, Graham says Bricky. What's up, Brick? Uh, the two uh, homies from the Wolf Pack. Good to see you guys in here. As always, that how you figure is sneakier than sneaker. Oh, slow your roll, Graham. No one. There's only just one. Take there's only room for one. Me. <laughs> exactly. There's only room for one. Um, sneaky. <laughs> Christian's at Epcot tonight. Dang, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, we got Doc Bat in the house saying evening, boys. What's up, Doc Bat? Thank you so much for always tuning into the show. We got Chris Sulfridge. What's up, Chris? Thank you for tuning in. I think a new name. I don't know if I've seen this name. If it if I have, it's been a while. Uh, in Florida, we're receiving a lot of rain today and tomorrow. Yeah, it's weird. Like I yeah, like D'Lo lives in Florida too. Shout out to D'Lo, but um, yeah, it's uh, people even down south have been having some uh, weird weather. So 
Yeah, crazy. Uh, Graham says he's just messing. He's got to film that mono video tonight. And Justin, let's hook up soon. There you go. Yeah, hit me up, man. Reach out. Exciting to me. stuff. Exciting stuff. Um, Thanks for coming, Graham. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, Justin, did you get anything new lately since I last talked to you? Like actual stuff that came, that that like came in. Uh, no, I haven't Other gotten anything in. Uh, we'll talk about pre-orders a little bit later, I think, but I'll, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one that I ordered. I was going back and forth with you on this one, but, uh, my Padme should get here on the 29th. So the 29th, I think that's next Friday. So I should have from, my Padme where'd you get, by then. Where'd you get Padme from again? I ended up having to go through, uh, TBA for that. Oh, nice. Okay. I remember. Oh yeah, that's right. You got a pretty, actually. Me and you oh, were going back on it. Yeah, I did. And, and me and you were, you know, helping me and like, it was. Man, it was tough to find that figure, man. And I wanted to go ahead and get it before that Anakin yeah. uh, episode two comes out. So yeah, dude, you got you found it like TBI. I was surprised it's already that low, considering she's like pretty much sold out everywhere. I I think so. Congrats, yeah. congrats on that. You're gonna have Padme before me, um, but that's awesome. It's awesome Thanks, man. man. I'll yep. yeah, dude. That's I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Yeah, about I'm that jealous. Everybody's got that figure. I'm hoping uh, hoping Underground gets his uh, in soon. I know, uh, I know you're super. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. go ahead with that. I was just gonna no, say sorry. I know you're super. Uh, I know you're a super patient guy. Like you don't care about the FOMO and all that stuff normally. <laughs> is it hard Somewhat. though? Is I was gonna say it's gotta be a little difficult if it's a figure you're really, really wanting, seeing everybody already have it, right? It is. It is, but it isn't because then I just look at like I you know, I'm always always looking to like if I can save a little bit of money if I have to wait, that's that's a good thing, especially on new figures. You know, new figures. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, if I can save a little bit, I'm okay with waiting, which really isn't too long unless it's like a kind of unique circumstance, like the Batman, you know, the Batman, I'm, right. mine's going to be shipping next week. So finally it's, it's going to be shipping after a long delay. And I think I just saw somebody on, like, I saw a comment on one of the Facebook groups too, that their Batman got delayed again by sideshow, like into April. So it's just crazy. It's crazy. Um, Christian says five hundred dollars a good price for a crosshair is still too much in your guys' opinion. This is tough because this number is like kind of lower than what he's going for, but at the same time is still like, ooh, like I don't know, sixty or seventy percent above retail probably price. So you know, so it's almost paying not quite double retail, but you get what I'm saying. It's it's up to you. That's probably like top dollar that I would go if you really, 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 really want them. But I don't want to influence your decision on spending that much on a crosshair. At the same time, people are out here selling them for, you know, buku bucks. So I would say this is like top, top, top dollar. And you got to really, really want them. I'd probably try to get them a little, a little bit lower. Yeah, like Graham says, 450 is probably like even that. 450 to five is pretty. Yeah, that's about that's about a size I would go. You know, do you think that that's gonna see? when when tech comes out? Do you see that? Do you see Crosshair still being? Do you, do you oh. ever see that shifting? <laughs> it's gonna be worse when tech comes out. That's what I was thinking yeah. too, man. That's what I was. <laughs> I thinking. think it's probably gonna end up just being worse, you know, because and look at Wreckers already kind of trending in that direction as well. So it's it's uh it's crazy. I don't yeah. know. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, exciting stuff. Um, to uh, wait waiting for tech got me got me all excited uh we got a uh, gifted in channel middle. in the house darth tomorrow says what's up fellas gonna catch replay tonight at work did y'all cop the arc trooper <sighs> you're gonna have to wait you're gonna have to wait man you're gonna have to catch that replay and you're gonna have to wait and uh find out and find out with us talking about the figure in the lottery experience today um <laughs> one six hours from says i lucked out and got the umbra arc trooper through start side show stupid lottery system <laughs> You're not the only one that feels that way. Yeah, it's uh, it's a crazy, crazy thing. Uh, it was it was pretty wild. Um, we got a gifted channel member in the house. Austin Nicholas says, "What's up, guys? What's up, Austin? Good to see you in here, bro. Thank you so much for tuning into the show." And hold on one second. I need to pull good to see you, Austin. Up real quick. There we go. There we go. Yeah, good to see you, Austin. Thank you for. Thank you for uh for being here lotta darth tomorrow says lotta was good for me hope y'all nice, were successful dude. as well i couldn't i didn't know if you were getting this one i thought you were you were passing on this one for some reason but that's dope bro congrats congrats awesome man x-men supremes in the house what is up bro good to see you here as always uh he says saw a dude in the buy sell trades with two crossers trying to trade one yeah i saw this post as well what do you guys think about folks buying two or more of a specific 
character is kind of chaps in my hide in this case. I would say Crosshair, if you want to have, I, I feel like any figure that has, like he had them all with a head, one with the head sculpt and one with a helmet. So I think in certain cases, like I can see why you'd want the Bad Batch just because I go back and forth right now. I have them all out of their helmets, but I think when tech comes, I'm probably going to put all their helmets on. Uh, it's, it's really hard because uh, hard to decide, but because their head sculpts are like, they're cool. And I really like what they did with the head sculpts are really good. But at the same time, like when I'm watching the show, I'm like, it doesn't look exactly like them. And it's all, it's just like the animated look is really like, I think I prefer them in their, like in their helmets and with their armor, but I don't know the head sculpts. There's just something special about them. So I think if you have one head sculpt, like it'd be different if you were just like had two of them standing next to each other for no reason. But I think in this case, it's okay. It just sucks that crosshair is rare. You know what I mean? Hard to find right now. Uh, so that's what I'll say about that. Um, what else we got? I think that's everybody through the chat. So before we get into the topics here, I just want to give uh, my typical plug for underground figures. Uh, you guys can check underground figures out. Everybody in the chat probably knows at this point, all the people in here, pretty much people who all, all watch my show, but go check out underground figures at undergroundfigures.net. You can get double box shipping free of charge, 5% below sideshows, MSRP. You probably don't have to pay tax. Uh, great customer service. And one of the best things for me personally is a no non-refundable deposit required on orders. So you don't have to put down an NRD. You can just email in your order. Everything's in the link or everything's in the link. Everything is in the description below if you have questions about that. And you can always hit me up if you have questions as well. And also Ray, the owner of Underground Figures is running a promotion, 15% off of the older figures, MMS 300s through 500s and in addition to the 15% off, if you buy any of those figures, MMS 300 to 500, any of those in that grouping, these older figures, if you order and then email him after the order, um, you can get an additional 10% back in store credit if you mention that I sent you and you mention the code word sneaker, okay? So if you buy any of those, you get the 15% off retail up front. Then you just email him, say, hey, Steve, Steve or Sneaker sent me. And, you have, and then you have to say code word sneaker. And that'll get you 10% back from that order right into store credit. Okay. So if that's confusing, hit me up. Hit me up. Um, so basically, if you get, let's just run this down for me. So say I buy a $350 figure shipped. I use code. <laughs> I sound like I'm advertising this. And I use code <laughs> word. I use code word sneaker. I get basically third, you know, ten percent of three hundred and fifty dollars for store credit for my next purchase. That's a great question. I don't know if it's ten percent of the. Well, I think it's ten percent. The, the, so the figures are already priced fifteen percent off. They're already priced. So if it's if it's the if the fifteen percent off price is three fifty, then yeah, you're gonna get thirty five bucks back in store credit. Um, there yeah, you there you go. Um, so yeah. Nice of Ray to do that to give uh, some extra incentive if you uh, if you mention me to get a little bit and you get ten percent back it's pretty good and then his price is already pretty low so you can just use that money to buy something else and Justin had mentioned to me that he's been he sounds like he's been scoping out the site because he noticed that Ray got some more Obi Wan deluxes from the Kenobi show so if you're looking for Obi Wan the deluxe Obi Wan go uh, go uh, check out Underground Figures I don't know how many more he has but good catch. Justin, he's been it looking, seemed like you, man, they're already scoping out the site. I'm, I'm always on it. Uh, <laughs> I th the last, I think there was like four or five, and that was yesterday. And the one I ordered one like weeks ago, but um, it doesn't. I don't know if these come with it because I didn't check, but it doesn't come with like the Anakin lightsaber hilt. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, if that it was doesn't a come with that exclusive. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's a sideshow exclusive. Okay. Or, yeah, Hot Toys exclusive one too. So, um, okay. yeah, Graham is confused. Well. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. It's kind of confusing, but I made a post on Instagram as well. It's actually relatively easy. Just make the order and then email them and say, I sent you with the code word sneaker. There you go. Um, what else we got? Brad says, gotta love rate. Yes. Uh, one six Star Wars Pimpazoid picked up that DX07 I was talking about last week for 300. Good deal. I think that's a fair price. I would say 300 or below. If you can get it for that is a good deal. No, it's an older figure, but you get two figures. You get the satellite dial. Like you get some really, uh, some really cool stuff with that. So I've been actually considering picking it up as well, but uh, yeah, 
Very cool. Okay. Anything else? Graham is practicing collecting abstinence. When he says that, you've known him a lot longer than me, obviously, Steve. When he says stuff like that, is he being serious? Does he go on like, does he just go on really big binges for a while and then he has to scale back? Because I know he just got all those figures from, uh, you know, Bad Batch, obviously. <sighs> I don't know. That was probably his biggest splurge like in a while. That was probably since I've known him the, the first time he's done something like that, like getting that many in a row. Um, he's probably potentially done it in the past, but that one was like, yeah, kind of out of the ordinary. That one, that one. He was, watched one he's episode. Usually, he's and usually the pretty whole good. Line. He's usually yeah. pretty good, you know, and like pretty good at like getting something and then maybe selling, uh, selling uh, something. Yeah, he's average right. figure a week. He needs to recharge. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got Danny Spotchka in the house. Wow, this is a lot of emojis, bro. Let's go, Thank Danny. Thank you so much. He's smashing all these emojis. Smashing all these emojis. So you guys can check out uh, my channel membership if you want to join up on the Evil Empire. And you can participate with these uh, all these cool emojis as well in the chat. Uh, Miami's you, nemesis is in the house. What's up, bro? Thank you, Chris, for being here, man. Good to uh, good to see you as always. He just sent me he sent me a like a story on Instagram the, the his story about. A, a master chief from the show um from like the halo uh tv show and then like you know hot toys make this that would be great be i, I great. don't want the die cast master chief i don't need the head sculpt i just, just want a master chief do you watch the show mind. steve uh, i've seen the first season i i know that well I, I don't i don't think this is spoilery because if you played the games but like apparently i guess in the second season they introduced the uh gosh i can't even think it's like the villains um like the not the covenant but the uh... somebody help me out i, I should have brought it up without knowing this is like the plague <laughs> or something like oh the um or... the flood the flood man i can't yeah, believe yeah. i can't believe i couldn't <laughs> remember that but I've, I've seen a lot of people complaining about how that uh how that looked oh interesting i'll probably i'll probably watch the second season at some point i'm backlogged yeah. on a lot of stuff and that one's not a priority kwan has got a head out he's got a phone day with his wife we'll catch up on the replay thanks bro thank you for tuning I in i hope you have a great night as well and Graham is smashing those emojis. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We got 22 in the house. Please hit that like button if you have not already. That would really help me out. Please do that. And let's get into the first topic. Let me see if I can pull this up here. Should be good. I have like 5 billion screens up right now on my computer because that's what I need to run the show. It's been a it's been an awesome week for trailers. I know we're going to talk about a few, Steve, but like that's that's what I've noticed this week is like a lot yeah. of the marketing and even the dark side stuff. Like I've seen a ton of marketing with that at like New York City and all that. It's been cool. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of cool stuff going on. You're absolutely right. But okay, let me transition us over. I think this will get us there, and we are here. Perfect. So we're going to talk about this Umbra Operative Arc Trooper. Uh, so it's been it's been very interesting because this got announced. What was this Tuesday last week? Or no, Tuesday this week. Tuesday this week. Tuesday this week. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, that's what happens when that's, this is what happens when I just work all week. I just forget the days, but I forget this is like two days ago. We did Wolfpack Wednesday talking about this figure. It's been a, this is a wild one. Figure gets announced. Next day, figure gets released, and then today we get the lottery and. Anybody who got it, it's already shipping. Like this is in stock at Sideshow. It's been pretty wild. But um, Justin, why don't you tell the people how your experience went today with the lottery? So this was my first lottery experience. Full disclosure, I was trying to help out Steve. Me personally. He's trying to help not, me out. Yeah, I, I don't really have a ton of interest in this figure personally. Uh, but I asked Steve, I was like, Hey, do you want me to just at least try to get in the queue just in case I'm higher up than you? And he said, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I get in there. Which is good. Yeah. It's yeah. good because now you get this first experience in case there's a figure that pops up for you later that you want. Yes. You're going to be like, Oh, this is exactly, uh, this, that's exactly how it goes. Same, yeah. Same thing. And I rushed out to my car after work, just rushing out there. I get in the queue. 2,757th place in line. And I had to text Steve. I was like. It's not happening for me, man. Hopefully you're up higher. <laughs> I could not believe I knew I wouldn't be. I just had a feeling I wasn't going to be in the top whatever. Cause I me and you were talking. There was probably like seven or eight hundred that Sideshow had, maybe. And when I saw that number, I was like, goodness, man, I didn't think I was gonna be that low. But Yep. Yep. Um it was crazy, man. 
it was crazy so i was a one i was like a, i forget 1183 i think i forget exactly but i was a little under 1200 um and i was like okay maybe i'm gonna be close uh like with that and i know like whatever i think um i think hong kong got a little over 300 i think or something like that and then other elsewhere got more i forget exactly what the numbers were whatever so sideshow I figured 1183, it was going to be close because I'm sure there are people that are that get in there to see if they can get it and then they pass on it because they want to see the price, which price 265. I think I thought it was going to come in like 290 to yeah. like 28. I thought maybe close to three. You know what I mean? All said and done, it's there. But uh, yeah, I was um, I was surprised that it was 265, but that's great. That's what it that's awesome that it's that price. Um, I think that's that's good. But so I, yeah, I, um, I, it was like four, I was at like almost 500. I was like just below 500 and then said line is paused. And I'm like, okay, if the line is paused, that means we're getting into, um, you know, we're getting into territory where they're being really careful how they're gatekeeping, uh, customers coming in to purchase it. And then it went waitlist. And of course, like it'll still funnel you in, even though it's waitlisted. So you can just funnel in and just join the waitlist. <laughs> um, it's really interesting, but, um, luckily for me so i missed out on the lottery but one of my buddies um collecting nerd zone mike i am going to link him in instagram because he's got an awesome instagram so i'm going to post him in the chat but i want to give him a shout out because not only does he have an awesome instagram but this dude was number four in the lottery and wow. i'm literally messaging these guys it's he's uh i'm in a chat with him and the copper drop guys but um i'm messaging them and and like literally the it went up and like right when the like right when the lottery started like he sent a photo and it was like add to cart and i was like what <laughs> so he was number four and he was like i don't even think i want this and i was like dude i'll take it like i'm 11 i'm like 1100 i don't think i'm gonna have a good chance and then if you did, if you don't end up wanting it, if you cancel within 24 hours, you keep your NRD. So um, he was gracious enough to uh, just, uh, yeah, he snagged it for me and uh, he's shipping it to me. He actually, he went above and beyond for me, man. It was really awesome. Just, it's really good to have just really cool friends who are collectors too, because he just went above and beyond. I just want to tell this story real quick. So he ordered it. We didn't know if it was like shipping now or not. I was just like, hey, you might be able to change the address later and stuff, but he ordered it um he actually contacted sideshows like customer service chat online and was like hey can i change the address like i'm sending this to my buddy um and they were able to change the address for him uh and i sent him the money and that's it so shout out to mike you guys can check out his page he's got he's got a lot of figures and he's got a lot of great photos on uh on instagram as well so he's got like over ten thousand followers on instagram he's just so he's got a uh, really really good account but Shout out to Mike, man, hooking me up. So this one's coming home. This one is I love coming hearing home that. Me, but yeah, yeah, yeah dude. dude. I love it's, hearing yeah, man. people helping each other and like, you know, I failed you. You know, I failed you, Steve. But uh, <laughs> I'm glad somebody, <laughs> glad somebody got yeah, it. For and he you, wasn't man. even gonna. He just cool. he was just in there. I don't know like why he even got in the first place. I know he didn't want it. I think he just pulled it up and he was number four. So and That's like crazy. It, there were people like close to 5,000. So I was surprised at how many people were actually in this one, especially when it's like a shadow drop. This is available today in a couple hours. Like I was surprised on a Friday that that, yeah. that, that happened. And it pulled like almost like it was probably over 5,000. Um, that's now, Steve, how does And how does, if you need to like check chat for before you answer this, uh, I just had a question. Do you know how the lottery system works? Is my first lottery. Like, is it just completely yeah. random? Yeah, I can explain to you. Let me just get to the chat real quick and I'll explain. But one Adam12, another channel member is in the house. What's up, Adam? What's up, man? How you he doing? says, hey, Stephen Justin, I have something now, but we'll catch a replay later tonight where I'll be waiting in the waitlist room <laughs> in vain for my Umbra, Umbra Trooper. Yeah, bro. Yeah, sorry you missed out, but thank you so much for stopping in and thank you so much for catching the replay as well. Uh, X-Man says, I will never get over how I waited for so long to get in line and I was at such a low number for Wanda. Then they let me in, kicked me out. Yeah, and he watched Will log in as I was already in line and got her um yeah it was uh, so you oh they let you in and then they kicked you out yeah that's another thing is some people have been having uh having issues where um they'll like get in to buy it and then like it'll kick them out 
and then you like go to the back of the line that's happened to people in the past so like the lottery is not without its flaws it's it's kind of crazy um uh let's see boba fettuccine what's up boba give it to channel members in the house he says i got wait listed on this one uh when this one opened up i got number 2700 so new yeah yeah it's crazy crazy uh jedi 291's in the house what's up uh jedi 291 thank you so much for being here and tuning in as always hey guys just want to say hello got company so i will have to catch it later well thank you so much for stopping in when you have company over and just saying hi really appreciate that uh friday night is tough everybody's got stuff going on it's kind of a tough night to stream sometimes but thank you so much jedi for uh tuning in to the show briefly to say hello hope you have a great time with your company ethan johnson's in the house what's up ethan he says hey everyone somehow got this trooper was in the 500s congrats bro that's awesome congratulations one six star wars pimpazoid i was number 644 in the queue so i got one but i missed out on the rooted anakin yeah rooted anakin was yeah yeah, a tough one i got rooted i got anakin but um this was my first l that i took in the lottery i was three for three joker anakin and wanda so pretty lot oh and um and comic spidey which was one that pretty much everybody got i feel like not really many people missed out on comic spidey um x-man says i had to go through pop collectibles get artists and wanda hopefully that works out hopefully i hope it does as well yes uh, prime time reviews is in the house saying yo yo what's up guys what is up dude thank you so much for tuning in uh really appreciate you being here man and we got batman collectibles who's in the house as always as well did i hear elsewhere your batman is finally coming can't wait to hear your thoughts who told you this yes um i got an email from raid underground saying my uh it's estimated to ship uh i think march 29th it's going to be shipping to me so I'm probably not gonna have it till like mid i mean that's i think i think march 29th what's today's the 22nd so that's a friday so yeah, i'm probably not friday. gonna have it till like the week of the first um but that's okay i've waited all this time at this point and then uh, i'm gonna put together a review with the with the bat cycle and stuff and do uh do some fun stuff with that so yeah i'm excited to get that figure and in art is is bringing out uh the batman shipping but who knows who knows when I'm going to be getting mine. I ordered mine pretty late when this like new amount came. Like you can still pre-order. A couple months ago, they came back and I pre-ordered it. So it's probably going to be a while till I get the in art one, but uh, excited for that. Excited for that for sure. Thank you for being here, Batman. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned it on uh, on Graham stream. Yeah, probably Wolfpack Wednesday. I think I was talking about that. Uh, we got KG collector usually i think is what he has at the end of his name but that's okay kg what's going on bro thank you so much for tuning in and justin is in the show but he's still using his emojis love it bro love it um so your question was how does the lottery system work so the lottery system is complete so did you rsvp no oh so that's interesting too so really you're supposed to rsvp for the figure like you go okay. onto their website you rsvp and then that like i think gives you priority but it sounds like for you that didn't matter you still got into the lottery and you still had a number so I I, all know. i did was google it i just when i was texting you yep. like hey i'm on like i was on sideshow for like five minutes i was like crap i gotta text text steve because like i'm not seeing it and so and again yeah, just googled if it. you're just tuning in i haven't done a lottery yet so that's why i didn't know this stuff but i just googled it it was the top i just typed in the figure sideshow or whatever and it was right there and it took me right into the queue so for some yep. reason you ever forget that like i did i mean you're probably going to be where i was placed maybe i don't know but that's how i was able to even get in the queue yeah so usually like the way that it the way that it is, is it's just completely so you get in there and then what it does is when you're all in no matter how early you get in there say you get in there and you're waiting an hour early the moment it goes live um everything is randomized you just get complete randomization of the numbers which a lot of people I personally, I think the randomization is fair because like, it's really hard to make it fair for everybody. I feel like the most fair for the, literally the most fair, as fair as you can get is random. But when you have issues with that, like people who have like a higher number and then they get kicked out to the back of the line cause there's a glitch or something and there's nothing you can do. That's when it gets really frustrating. So when the lottery system gives you a number and then fails you, yeah, that's a problem, right? So yeah, it's basically, it's just random. So it's literally luck of the draw. And then what happens is it'll say like, uh, it'll basically be like, now it's your turn. Then you get you get redirected to the site and you have a certain amount of time to order it. Um, you add it to your cart and order it just like you would. So they gatekeep the traffic, but there's been a lot of issues. Like one time, I forget if it was Anakin or Wanda, but it was like, 
the line was paused and everybody had numbers and then it like reshuffled it looked like my number didn't really change much but it like reshuffled and people got switched around and then it was just so there's it's not without its flaws currently and for something like this when there's less than like i think i was i think it was like 389 when it went waitlist and i was 1183 i think so that's what uh 1200 that's like six seven hundred ish available um for sideshow maybe a little bit more something like that um but yeah so that's how it goes it's literally just random um, you know as someone who used to uh, you know as i've told you man like i'm new to one six but i've been collecting stuff my whole life so um i used to collect mondo po i got a couple behind me but i used to i was actually able to get those in person but when i've tried to get them on mondo it's it that's a whole different thing like it's like first come first serve so that was just extremely frustrating because yep. there's people, about 500 total of those and it was very difficult to get yeah that's what a lot of people say is like oh i wish like if i'm already there early like i should have priority yeah that's what something like the argument is for some people it's just tough because like how, then how early do you go like do you have a like a like oh you get in there an hour early because then everybody's still gonna flood it at that time so it's just I don't know. It's it's really hard to it's really hard to decide. And the flip side of it is too is like there's so many there's so many scalpers or whoever like you know reselling the tickets reseller whoever they're like selling like they have multiple windows open multiple accounts like it's there's no like um, I just feel like there's no perfect system for it. It's like really difficult to try to figure out like yeah the best possible system for stuff like this. You know yeah yeah so. We'll see it sounds like they're just gonna keep doing this you know what i mean what they did yeah. do in the past too like with um with iron man d100 they only had 300 available and they emailed ran they ran you had to rsvp and then they sent out a random email to you saying like you were selected to order this you have i think oh. it was 24 hours um to order nice. it or something like that so that's what they did but they haven't really done that since then i don't think um so yeah i don't know but Nick, I just want to say hi to Nick's collectibles. What's up, Nick? He says, sup, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in, bro. Always good to see you in here. KG says, loving the stream so far. Hit that like button. Yes, please. Please hit that like button. 26 people in here. Uh, yes, thank you, bro. 100%. 100%. Um, <laughs> X-Men, here's the metric of measure. If I don't get the one I'm after, then the system is broken. <laughs> yeah. Everybody That's wants really to get true. One, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to get one, and then when it fails, it, uh, it, uh, it sucks, right? I missed this comment. Christian says, waiting for my Batman, Toby, and Deluxe Vader. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about some pre-orders and what we're waiting for. Now, we're, I guess, pre-orders, but now releases. And shout out uh, to Christian, too, for met, watching the stream, messaging us. Why is at Epcot, man? I know he goes a lot. Yeah. So it's not like a once-in-a-lifetime deal for him, but, like, but I appreciate it, man. Yeah. And he also said back here, I think, just sent in an offer for 450 for Crosshair. Wish me luck. Good luck, dude. Good luck, man. Um. Okay, let's talk about this figure. So I know you said not really one for you did you play the game i did uh you know i haven't played the newest like you know this new collection the re you know whatever it is reboot or you know i don't even know what they call it remastered um yeah, sure. i loved the game i mean me and my brother would play it growing up on like local split screen we were playing it all the time um i just like i said i don't really dislike the figure i just i'm not it like i mean that's the best way to put it It just wasn't one that i felt was a need for me right now and uh yeah i mean that's yeah i could go into it further but i, yeah. I think yeah i think i i, I mean I, I don't know i can't tell if i like it or not and the, and when <laughs> i have to fair enough when i have yeah when i have to like ask that question it's probably something i don't really need right now you know yeah yeah yeah, that's a really good way of putting it. Like, eh, if I don't, I don't know if I really like it. Then yeah, you probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't get it. But yeah, uh, yeah. So like, this is crazy. When I see this, I think of the Black Series. Like, it take. It, it, I like got nostalgia when I saw this because of Black Series collecting. This was a GameStop exclusive Black Series figure. I had like four of them. Um, but it's just a really cool, like, unique looking Black Series figure for sure. Um, so that's kind of brought me back to that. But then yeah, so this is like from Battlefront Two, which like i like i said on wednesday too on uh wolfpack wednesdays it's just it's a really it's more of an interesting choice than anything i don't think it takes away from anything i think it's fine that they're making it i don't think this necessarily takes away that oh we don't have time to make other figures because also this is a shadow drop basically 
it's already released within a week within three days or whatever whatever or tuesday wednesday thursday within within four days this thing's already been released from announcement release and then lottery on sideshow so it's already out which is crazy you know compared to some of the, it's it's interesting how that happens right we, we wait so long for some of these other figures and then this all of a sudden is ready to go in stock everywhere <laughs> ready to ship out 1500 units so just interesting how that happens but um i'm excited i'm excited to get it battlefront 2 is like a gold mine for trooper designs i really wish they would do more there's like probably over 100 on there um i really uh wish they would do um you know that they would do more but um we'll see we'll see i think it's cool it's a limited piece which we've had this discussion in the past too. i've talked about this a lot and some people have a different take but you know i've always thought if something it's cool to have something limited in my collection i think that that's cool you know like sometimes when i'll talk to people about stuff if they come over of like they're asking maybe even people who don't know about figures some people who do and it's like oh yeah like i have this piece this was limited to like x amount worldwide you know like i feel like it's a cool talking point it's something that is unique not when not everybody has something it makes your it can make your collection unique um i think this is the perfect the perfect trooper like the perfect figure to do like a limited amount um the only problem is a lot of clone clone lovers don't underestimate the amount of people who collect clones and just love the clone wars want want more of these right so that's the tough part when you when you do a limited trooper you're limiting the army builders which always sucks because it would be really cool to have multiple of these you know what i mean yeah i, I just very, yeah go ahead go ahead no i was just gonna say that like i think that's the thing that i i think the figure is like it's cool like i could you know I'll, I, yeah, the more I looked at it, I've been thinking about this all week. I was going to make a video on it, and then, I, but I, I truly was going back and forth on how I felt about it. But even if this was like available to me right now, I wouldn't pre-order it. And even if it was available to me right now, and this is just being honest, like the, again, I'm a beginning collector, so like there's a, w there's so many other figures I really want right now. Steve, you probably sure. already got you know those pieces in your collection. So for me, this release was for that. And me personally, I'm totally with you. I, it can be very frustrating, but I think limited releases and collecting is important. And I think that for me, again, if you have like a super personal connection with this figure, then you're, you know, I feel bad if you didn't get it, but I'm glad they're doing these limited releases with a figure like this instead. Like if I missed out on the, like, you know, I wasn't collecting when the rooted Anakin uh, went up for sale, that would have really bummed me out. But I'm okay getting the sculpted. But if like I already had a sculpted Anakin and I really wanted that rooted and that's like my favorite character, those are the ones that are really tough for me to have limited. And so I kind of like having these as limited because this kind of <laughs> feels like th this kind of feels like you talked about with those GameStop exclusives. Like it's it's kind of cool to have those exclusives and those limited quantities just because it adds a little bit to that collection aspect of it. You know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like and it was it's crazy like you always it's a limited stuff is a really easy way to drive in hype and like what i've said this in the past too for like when they started dropping these artisan figures and like when they start like that was probably the most when anakin was announced that they were doing like this rooted anakin they showed the picture of like backstage and it was this rooted anakin head sculpt it looked like a real photo it was crazy and like i just remember the hype level of when Anakin, like they're in the lottery, everybody was talking about Anakin. Like it's just a huge, when, when it's limited, granted that's Anakin, but anything limited always drives hype, right? Like what's everybody talking about right now on on all the like Facebook pages, buy, sell, trades, everything. Like it's all about this trooper because it just drives hype, right? Um, Did you ever you do a midnight release for video games ever? Oh, Did you ever yeah, go in dude. person for of those? Of course, oh, you know, many this times. Being, a, being in this lottery today, it, it doesn't even come close to that because you were pretty much guaranteed to get the game and it was more about that. But I do like how everyone for at least a day was talking about this something. You know, they were talking yeah. about this figure. You know, whether you hated it, yeah. loved it, we're kind of in between like I am. I do like that. I do like when it's almost like a special event. Like, hey, man, everybody be on their computer. at th Like, it is frustrating if you didn't get an X-Man said it best. When you get it, man, I love this system. When you don't, man, this is the worst system. Yeah of all time you know so yep i should put a i should put a uh i should put a a poll out here um now steve is this one I, okay i know you talked about this on the uh stream on wednesday the wolf pack 
remind me though did you say you would you would have pre-ordered this i mean i think you would have especially now when you saw the price was 265 but even if this wasn't limited would this have been a day one pre-order or is this one you're kind of if this the was limited, limited aspect I, really did it for you right if this wasn't limited i probably would have waited to try to get it at a better price the only issue is if it's either when it's limited like this the saving 50 to 75 bucks on some on a limited piece is just like really unlikely to happen that's another thing is most limited stuff in hot toys at least holds value you know what i mean like it doesn't yeah. necessarily like drop under um, most of it holds value or goes up which not that that's a big part of it but when you're looking at long game yeah picking this up a year down the road this thing's probably going to hold value at least or potentially or probably going to end up being more you're not going to find this for a deal you know this isn't going to be like a 200 trooper it's just not going to happen with it being this limited, right? Um, now, you mentioned the game, Steve. I like how you played it, too, because, you I mean, you can answer that. Like, I loved it as well. Does this mean, I mean, I know they're making some video game characters. Do you sense that we're going to get a lot of video game characters this year just because of the writing strike and all that stuff? Do you see that happening at all? Dude, I don't know. I love VGM. Like, I, the video game stuff, I really wish they would do more of. It's just, this is interesting in that this game came out in, like, 2017. Mm -hmm. so like it just shows you that star wars is just like it's just a gold mine where they can go and pull something out of a hat whenever they want basically because there's so much exactly. stuff battlefront mm -hmm. 2 is a great like if they did a bunch of battlefront 2 vgm stuff i'd be all for it because it's just awesome like there's so much cool stuff in that game yeah. um you can pick your own trooper you can but there's just so many different things you can do battlefront 2 is like endless possibility that they could pull from but um i would love for them to do more vgm yeah for sure where does this um, fit into your um i assume you have a ton of the clones i would assume i haven't yeah i got you know, a decent amount of clones where does this fit in i mean that to me the cool thing about this too like we talked about with the bad batch figures like i love how these star wars figures can fit into a live action display i think that's my favorite thing right now sure i feel myself really kind of going more towards star wars not only because I love it, but I love that aspect of it. Like you can have a video game trooper right next to one. And yeah, they're a little different, but the, it fits in that display. I really like that. That's what I loved about those Bad Batch figures as well. You know? Yeah, it's uh, it's hard. I don't know where I'm going to place this one. I might put it in my one-off area. Um, we'll see. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Um, Got that we'll limited see. shelf. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what I, what I uh, end up doing with this one. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet um i kind of have a shelf that's just kind of like yeah one-off stuff but we'll see we'll see i don't know where it's gonna go yet but um i'm excited man i'm excited I like how it has three helmets these pictures i do are cool. like that yeah, yeah like there's one picture on here that's like um, i like that one yeah yeah i like uh hold on it's kind of like the tech thing like the tech's got the three the upcoming tech's got those three different yeah different things yep yep, yep. And this one what's one of the photos that i really like sorry i'm gonna go kind of fast no you're good uh yeah so you get all three of these helmets right so, which is really cool you know you get all three of the helmets uh there's this picture is cool i like this one a lot um that is cool but there was one where he had like the rifle over his shoulder maybe it's not in these photos it might not be i don't think it is it might be in a different set of photos but he has like a rifle over his shoulder and then he's holding his gun in his other hand he's kind of got this like cool staggered stance but um cool figure man it's gonna look uh yeah i, don't, I wonder what i'm gonna like yeah I got to find something to, to do with it and, and where I'm going to put it. But I like it. I like it. I'm excited to get it. And like I said, this is going to be a unique piece. It's going to be a unique trooper to have. So uh, I'm excited yeah, about it. For sure, man. A, I'm happy. Congrats. Yeah. I know you got oh. some help from your buddy, man, but I'm glad you got it. Yeah. Shout out to Mike. Dude hooked me up. Uh, yeah, dude. Yes. Yes. Really appreciate that. So I just want to get some uh, comments here. We got channel member collection obsession in the house. What's up, man? Thank you so much for being here. Even though you're late, it is all good. Are you guys getting one? Yeah, there you go. Question answered. Uh, X-Man says, it's just like Arena Boba Fett. It's a repaint, so they already have everything they needed to make it and just send it out. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Ethan says, think they'll make more ARC Troopers after this release? Personally, want Fives and Echo. I would, like, when they made Jesse, I thought they were going to do more. The fives and Echo, I hope. I hope. They're pretty high on the Clone Wars line, so, like, I could see them just continually adding to it. There's so much they could do. I really want a fives and echo that'd be super dope ethan says just went on ebay and someone's already selling it for 600 bucks yep that's another thing anything limited bring scalpers it's a fact fact of life something that's never gonna stop and also 
there's a lot of people out there who look at this and they're like, wow, I could get this trooper for 265, probably whatever, around 300 all said and done. You go sell it for five, 600 plus dollars. You just doubled your money and maybe you go buy something else. There's always people who are going to try to like fund by buying exclusives and selling them. We see with everything, everything, consoles too, like video game consoles. I remember during COVID, like graphics cards, just everything, right? Um, uh, Nyla Riffic is in the house. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I love the, uh, the logo, the Scout Trooper helmet. I was lucky enough to get the Umber Arc Trooper. Nice, man. Congratulations. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. Uh, X-Man says, this is one of those figures that I like to see, though. It's not one that I want at all, but it's a, still really cool that it exists. Really freaking cool that it exists. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. It's it's nice to have cool stuff and expand, even if you don't want it, right? Like, it's cool. There's always figures we see like, oh, damn, that's cool. Uh, as long as they don't do Revan like this. Yes, please do not make anything Dark Side Limited. Um, the Fio Dome is here in the house. What's up, man? Thank you so much for tuning in. I got down to 19 from 489, then it went weightless. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Um, Brad says, I have a spot for it. Sneakers, send him over. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do is put him... So, like, we're going to talk about it, but uh, I have this, this Maji Space... This mono shelf that I'm going to do a review on. It's right behind me. It's right here. I'm not done setting it up. Oh, it's right like this. Right here, right behind me. This new mod, uh, Maji Space mono shelf. We're going to talk about it. It's behind me. That's where I might put it, actually, in the meantime. Uh, we'll see. Uh, this is one of those figures where it makes sense to have more than one of it. That's the problem is when you, like, limited release a, a trooper, right? So, yep. We got action in the box. What's up, Ricardo? From Brazil. Uh, thank you so much. Another channel member. Of the evil empire here it's got to be late there i always say that it's got to be late uh but thank you ricardo for tuning in man if you guys haven't go check out action in the box he's got really cool channel and just one of the most unique collections i say it every time just really cool diorama displays literally action in a box uh super dope go check him out we got thrawn's office in the house another channel member he says hello to the people what is up man thank you so much for being here uh i know you missed out today and i feel for you and i'm sorry but uh i'm glad you're here man glad you're here we're gonna stop talking about the figure now and uh in a little bit um let's see lt skywalker a new name what's up thank you so much for being here i got it very happy it was number 696 nice so that was probably like pretty close pretty close to it being close to the end maybe a couple within a couple hundred uh very nice congratulations congrats to anybody uh who picked up let's see in the poll i'm gonna end it here 21 votes 66 percent did not get it 33 percent did get it yeah so makes sense right makes sense limited makes sense uh justin any last words you want to say about this before we move on i'm happy for everyone that's got it i now know that our buddy uh our buddy mike uh didn't so if you need to talk man just hit me up i'm sorry Sorry, my pause litters. Formerly known, formerly known. Now Thrawn's office. Now Thrawn's office, absolutely. Yep. Grail, Grail. Grail. Uh, okay, let's move on. And I got to take us over to this next. Oh, where did my, oh no. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to take us over. So it's going to look weird here on the screen for a second. I'm going to take us to this. Let's go. I want to talk about the Acolyte. Um, I do too. We finally got a trailer, which... Star Wars Celebration had a sneak peek behind the scenes, no pun intended for the show. They had a behind the scenes trailer as well, which you can find online. You can find online uh, as uh, as uh, Thrawn's office smashes that grail, his favorite emoji, the grail emoji. I can never get rid of it now um, as he smashes that. So there was a behind the scenes uh, a trailer that was shown kind of to a celebration, but there was rumor about this. It's weird. I was talking to one of my buddies at work who, and I was like, man, the Acolyte's been like, this was like a week before the trailer dropped. I was like, it's been rumored like this show's going to come out in June. Like, man, they haven't really, like they showed stuff at Celebration. It's not confirmed when it's coming out. Uh, but we got confirmation June 4th. It's coming out and it's a really cool poster. Like I should show the poster, but it's, a, it's on the thumbnail. The one with the lightsaber, like the bloody lightsaber. Very cool. Um, But I'm really looking forward to the show. We're going to kind of go through the trailer a little bit here. Um, 
Justin, is there anything you want to say before we get kind of into the trailer breakdown? Is this something you're excited for as a as a fan of Star Wars? I, I am, man. I'm I'm really excited for it, and I have like I have like a baseline knowledge of some of the stuff, but I'm excited because this is kind of an era of Star Wars that I'm going to be like kind of going in fresh on, I guess you could say. Like I don't know it like as much as probably you do, uh, Steve, with this stuff with this type of storyline. So I'm excited to just see something new and we'll talk about it during the trailer. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely gonna be watching it. That's for sure. Yeah. I want to go through the trailer a little bit and kind of just talk about some stuff that, you know, some of the stuff that I noticed and maybe some of the thoughts that I have. Um, and then I want to talk about just like kind of my overall thoughts about, you know, what the kind of the buzz is around the show and how people are feeling about it. And, uh, yeah, I have some thoughts on that. So I just want to want to we're not going to spend too much time on this, but we get kind of this opening scene, right, where they're all in this room. Right. And there's this like Jedi telling them, um, you know, don't like your eyes deceive you, basically, like don't trust everything that you see. Right. So they're all eyes closed. And then we get this other we get this. Oh, why is it dark? Because uh, it flashes. OK, we get one of them who says like yeah so it's still going through the room we get some kind of scenery stuff here which looks cool i think the set pieces are really nice also there's like uh there's i think i i had read something too that said they're using a lot more like uh like practical effects and like full-on set yeah. pieces for this show rather than going in the volume which i think is a great move Me too. Um, but it looks really cool like this looks really cool all of these like different outfits it just got a different feel for it for the show in my mind when i was watching this it's like this truly feels like it's in a different like kind of era of star wars right it's something different it's something new and fresh uh and then we go back to this and then one of them says that they see fire at some point it's let might think it might be a little bit later on but this is showing some more stuff i don't want to get too much into like we don't have to get into everything it's kind of showing people walk through but it's then, right yeah, there when it's yeah right here she says yeah yeah this is when she says like i see fire so this makes me feel like this makes me feel like this character like this scene might be a flashback because i think too like the synopsis of the ep of the show is like um a young like uh, like a young jedi ends up reuniting with her old master to solve a string of jedi murders right which i think is just awesome in and of itself that we're getting a, a jedi murder mystery like that sounds so bad it has for star wars sounds like something like this is this is touted as like a mystery thriller, right? Which I think is really cool. I don't feel I don't feel like enough people are really talking about kind of the style of show that this is. This is something that we haven't really gotten. It's going to be something completely new. A mystery thriller set in Star Wars sounds awesome to me. Um, we get her and she says like, I see fire. I wonder if this is like a flashback scene because um, then we get this picture with, uh, with Carrie Ann Moss, which is, she's awesome in a lot of stuff. I just think about Trinity and the matrix, but we get her and she's like, seems like a powerful Jedi, right? Then she starts getting in a fight here. Right. And I want to like, this is badass. Like, I think the choreography for the fighting and stuff is really badass showing kind of how strong she is. And this, like this force push with like the slide. I think that's so cool how they do this. But then we get like this character. It seems like she might be the little girl who says like, I see fire potentially. Cause like they yeah. really focus in on her on the trailer and then they show her and like, they're sh like, I just have a feeling like that when they're sitting there, like that's a probably like a flashback setting the tone for the show. Um, so I feel like this might be the girl who's sitting in like the jet, like the, um, you know, like the chambers when they're meditating and stuff. I feel like this might be her, right? Um, I agree. I don't know that's for certain, but too. that's my vibe for it, right? Because um, it just seems like they're doing some flashback stuff. Um, and then we get, I think I saw a comment in here. Yeah, Thrawn's off says, I love the alien kid who literally can't close his eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, then we get like this this one like uh, Padawan who's like part, it almost looks like part human, part alien. Really cool. Like I love the, uh, I just love what they're doing with the with the character design um every different every actor and actress in the show like kind of looks different you know what i mean like there's just like this different vibe to it this really truly has a high republic vibe for sure if you've if you've consumed any high republic content like they i feel like they 
did a really nice job uh, with the vibe of the high republic before i continue i just want to say hi to jose hernandez says what's up everyone sorry i'm late you don't have to apologize bro yeah, he's man. using uh those emojis because he's a two month lucky gifted channel member two months in a row <laughs> um but thank That's you so awesome. much for being here you guys can check out my uh episode of the collector tour from um earlier was that earlier this week oh my gosh i think it was monday <laughs> um earlier this week you're struggling uh, this with week, your memory this, this week, week has been I'm very busy. interesting man but a yeah. great episode i loved having jose on such a great dude man i just uh oh, yeah. yeah yeah really an awesome episode thanks for being here jose yeah thanks for being here man um justin based on what i've said so far i know i'm kind of just going on a rant about no, the episode no. and give my thoughts but would you have anything to say about this here yeah is that the you know i was trying to pull while you were talking i was trying to pull up they did a cool thing where it was like uh they actually showed you the characters and yeah, like kind of gave you a stuff. little background yeah and yeah. i think that that character that's on the screen right now isn't that the girl who played x23 and uh logan i believe it is the same girl i'm yeah, not 100 percent sure yeah i was um, trying to get that info so i could like confirm it but i'd and no, I heard some people making comments. I think I saw some people making comments about that, like X23 and like her and stuff like that. But like, yeah. I just want to see X23. <laughs> I think the highlight of yeah, this, looks like we have, there's a couple of highlights for this trailer for me. We haven't gotten to one of them yet. We've already gone over one of them, which is the one you mentioned. When Carrie Ann Moss got on the screen, I was on board because I love Carrie Ann Moss, man. She has yeah. been in so many things that I love. And the actress that you said plays like the Padawan, potentially, that's the young uh, the young girl in the beginning. She's in a movie. She's been in a, a lot of movies that people probably seen, but she was in a movie called Bodies, 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 like a little uh, kind of like a low budget horror movie kind of thing. Oh, nice. And she was so, she was fantastic in that. And so I think that her being one of the leads, I'm excited about that as well, because she's a really good actress. So, um, yeah, just to echo what you were saying. I totally agree with you that the thing that caught my eye and all you can go on is this minute 45 second trailer. So that's all we can go on. But I do like how, and I hope that they do this in the show. You said it best. The synopsis of the show. I'm very intrigued by, I like the feel of it. I really liked those tracking shots of behind the back and she's there following her and you can see the world around her and all this stuff kind of looks new to us there's like new work it's it's familiar enough where it's star wars but it's new enough to where it's like i, I want to learn a little bit more about it you know yeah and um yeah that that's that was the big thing for me and we'll get into the second half of it and i'll give you my thoughts on like my highlight of the trailer but yeah carrie and moss being in it that whole scene i just i'm excited to see some different combat like that's going to be kind of yeah. cool to see yeah, 100%, man. Well said. Well said. X-Man says, I solved a Star Wars murder mystery in like 20 minutes in KOTOR. <laughs> That's funny. Jose says, yes, it was Monday. Okay, yeah. Okay. I've, I've streamed three times this week already. That's what happens when you just stream a lot. Uh, let's see here. We got AJ Grusa in the house. Another channel member of the Evil Empire says, good evening, friends. I'm here late, but hope everyone is doing well. Uh, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Better late than never. I'm fine with anybody being late. You just stop in if you stay for the whole thing doesn't matter i appreciate all of you so hope you're doing well also thank you for being here x-men says that her so he says it's her there you go um this is cool in the cave i like this like uh how they're going through the cave and i like this too i thought this was cool like when she tries to like stat it looks like it looks like she's being stopped you know what i mean like why like why is it just not going you know what i mean like yeah it's almost like she's being forced stop but you like stop by the force but you can't really tell this is really cool when it's like just i love it when stuff is like dark and then gets illuminated by lightsabers you know Me too. i think that's really cool um this is cool looking and this almost like i wonder too if this is like a flashback um like i feel like this trailer just has some different flashbacks in it also love getting a wookie man we having a wookie and like and also he's got like uh these like uh you know the jedi clothing on i think that's so cool man love seeing a jedi wookie yes please um this is really awesome it's always nice seeing ships fly over stuff but uh i'm gonna keep going it's kind of dark on my screen oops i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that um, yeah, like this crazy flips and combat and stuff like that. That's cool, man. I'm excited. That's, uh, 
Yeah. And that's what, oddly enough, that's kind of, I mean, there's a scene at the end that's really cool too, but I, you know, I'm wondering if since Carrie Ann Moss is in this, if the Matrix, the, the fight choreography for the Matrix really had a lot of influence on this, because I'm getting that big time. I'm, I'm seeing a yeah, lot of Morpheus, Neo in the dojo. Like I'm seeing a lot of that choreography in this. So I, I would assume that with Carrie Ann Moss being in it, not that she wouldn't get the role anyway, because she's great, but uh, I definitely could see that being an influence on the fight choreography in this, which would be, which would be great. Yeah, they yep, could pull it sure. off. Yeah, um, I love this the theme age of, of light. light. Yeah, in the age yeah. of light, a darkness rises. Right, I love that theme of the show. Um, this is this is cool too. Like this guy just like force pushes the door open. This guy's an interesting interesting fellow. They, they're just like show. Like I feel like this is one where I feel like her look is different right here. She like, looks could just be, yeah. Is this a flashback? That's what I'm, I'm wondering. Thinking... Like, is this like another flashback where like. It's yeah, it goes back in because this show just seems like there's going to be flashback elements in it for you sure know, to piece to piece things together. You know, like our hair is a lot different. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just I was I was agreeing. I, I, I think that you're definitely right. I definitely think there is going to be flashbacks back and forth because, again, just based on that synopsis of like a former didn't it say like a former Padawan coming back. Like, yeah, I know yeah, that like reunite gonna... with her old master. Yeah. exactly yeah and that's played yeah. by the guy i would assume uh from squid game um yeah the head yeah. uh the yeah. head jedi or whatever yeah. and that's the other thing that i really like too is i was reading because i just to prepare for tonight i was kind of reading a little bit about uh the the series see if i could find anything that i couldn't catch in the trailer but um i do like how I read somewhere where it was like the Jedi has been established. Like the Jedi is almost like at its peak. Oh yeah, that's like High right Republic. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. what and that's why when you said High Republic, I was kind of going like this because yep. that's kind of an era that I want to kind of get more introduced to. And like that's that's what's exciting for me is to kind of see more like I played the Knights of the Old Republic game and stuff. And that's basically my only not I know they've done like novels and books of that High Republic yep. stuff, but I haven't read any of them yeah um so that that's cool that like it's almost like the birth of the sith a little bit from what from the small little bit i've i've uh yep. researched on it it's gonna be interesting to see like how they do this um how they do this show if they're if they're gonna introduce like somebody like that's actually true sith in the show or not um but the high republic is really cool stuff like the books are actually pretty good i'm in my i'm in process of still like going through the high republic but like light of the jedi the first book they actually ever release is a really good one um there's some good comics and stuff too like it's got really cool stuff but um i think i read too you don't really have to it'll it'll reward you for knowing some of that stuff watching the show but you don't have to know it to really get what's going on because yeah. um, basically the jedi are at the peak of their power um that's the hot like yeah they're at the peak of their power um and and then this like this jedi start getting killed you know that's it um so yeah darkness rises everyone keeps stopping knives um and then oh excuse me oh sorry just randomly had a yawn but then we get this character who's really intriguing who's like a witch i think i read a thing about how she's a witch yep so like i could see this being a thing where it's like she wants to keep and maintain certain val certain val or uh, certain values and how that could go against you know either jedi or how there could be some conflict there right i feel like this is like an old era so there's probably going to be like oh people believe this people believe this and like there's going to be some turmoil there potentially right with that stuff for sure oh, i love like this shot nugget. too this is a great yeah, shot running. here yeah this is cool yep yep it's so, like that looks it like real set piece you know yeah with fire and i'd read and i'd read somewhere where they were the uh the showrunner or whoever the showrunner the writer or somebody was just saying that they did get a lot of influence from like the night sisters and stuff like that but they and i don't know if this is just like to kind of tease it or whatever for season two maybe if they have a season two but uh they were basically saying that there wouldn't be any night sisters in this but like that was that was a big influence on them for uh some of the stuff that's in here so i think yep. with what you were saying yep. with that character could be really interesting yeah and i think too she she had the like um yeah the lady you're talking about she also mentioned like she's a she's like a fan of the expanded universe too so she's mm -hmm. like brought in some elements of the expanded universe into the show which i think is really cool as well um yeah then I mean, this is a cool shot too this ship just like crashing and breaking apart yeah so some of the stuff just seems like flashbacky to me you know what i mean 
This has got to be the girl at the beginning. I feel like it's got to be her. No, I um, I agree with you, and I can tell that I want it, right? that I want that figure already. Like, yep. and then I, I just also love want, the custom yeah. design. I also wonder too with this, like, oh, they're talking about oh, like a former Padawan like reunites with their master. I wonder if they're talking about more than one person, like if it's like somebody good reuniting with their master, but also somebody bad reuniting with their master as well, like in a different like that that's might be part of the show you know what i'm saying yeah like that I, that, one of them could have been one of those younglings in the room that ends up being like part of this you know what i mean because it seems like somebody in the show like that's the mystery element where we're going to learn about these characters in the trailer and their different traits and stuff like that of like okay what are they actually like what is their uh like what is their motive what are they actually trying to do you know what i mean yeah um, and i could and, and that's what i'm saying i i, I love the the uh the synopsis of it i know i keep repeating myself but i just want i hope that they actually lean into that heavily in the show like you know it's like somebody's hunting jenna like i hope it feels like a thriller i almost hope it feels yeah, like that little you know i don't want it just to say that and then we still have the same stuff you know i want to see that the different i want to see a different tone a different whatever you know yeah and uh in that earlier shot you don't have to rewind it but that earlier shot where you were showing carrie ann moss and you said like she looks different here even yeah. the guy from Squid Game looks a little younger with his yep. haircut. It's almost yeah. so I'm totally with you. I definitely think there's going to be different time frames and different call, you know, flashbacks and all that different yep. stuff while it's telling the story. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, AJ says unless they bring in Darth Plagueis, the Sith were technically still hidden in building the rule tool to at this point. Yeah, X Men says I don't think there were any true Sith anymore during this time frame. Pretty sure all those guys died long before the old republic so the inter this is where the show gets really interesting because this is set in a time where palpatine isn't even born yet so we're not going to get an emperor palpatine so this is going to be like um this is potential like could we get darth plagueis being really really young um potentially or his um darth um uh, I forget how to say, uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on the guy's name. Um, Darth Tenebris, uh, somebody in the chat can tell me Tenebris, or I forget exactly how to say his name for some reason right now, but, um, the, uh, master of Plagueis, like, could we get potentially one of them in this show? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily want that. I don't know if, um... I don't know if I really want like a Darth Plagueis in this show. I kind of want this show to be something like give us something new and fresh. Like give us a new character who's like a bad character or like the Sith type um, character, right? That's kind of what I potentially want from, want from it. Um, and Steve, you I don't love know Andor, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't you like how, don't you think the reason people really love that is because the tone was just a little bit different than what we've gotten with the other disney plus stuff like it was a bit more you know it kind of took it i don't want to say take itself seriously because that's kind of like but the, the tone was just more like it played out as almost like an espionage thriller type of thing like it almost played out as like a uh i don't know how to describe it but i, I just feel like that the tone was different and i think that's yep. why people enjoyed it and i think that if they kind of can go into some different genres and uh but i i do agree with you i, I would love to see the you know Look, it's Star Wars. They're going to have some throwbacks, some callbacks to some iconic characters. That's how they're going to build buzz in between episodes. But I definitely want them to focus on these characters that they're kind of promoting in the trailer because I, it, it, and then season two, you can maybe bring that stuff. But I get it. They, you know, they want to have some hype around it, some buzz. So I definitely think, Steve, there's going to be at least one or two, if not more, like big names we see that people are familiar with. Yeah. 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 We'll see. Uh, Darth Tenebris, thank you, Cage. I do not know why I couldn't think of how to uh, say or remember this person. But yeah, Darth Tenebris, like, could we get, like, could we get that? I, it's just like, if we really get the Sith in here, I don't know. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. Um, I want to get to a couple other comments. Uh, MB Dyson, A29 is in the house. What's up, MB Dyson? Thank you for being here. If the sequels were better received, would they be making so many prequels? If the sequels were better received oh that's an interesting point my I guess is they had the high republic like they probably had that mapped out for a while you know like i feel like they probably had a plan 
to like have because then we have like dawn of the jedi now that's mapped out so i think that some of this stuff is like probably in the really early stages like even maybe potentially like when they were considering the sequels and like i feel like there's just so much to be explored before both like in between return of the jedi and For the force awakens but also everything before the seek or the prequels has not really been explored much you know what i mean so it's yeah. just a time period that makes sense i feel like um thrawn's offices i have serious concerns about the show but i'm really enjoying the enthusiasm and excitement from you guys in the chat i'm going in with an open mind yeah I, yeah i uh this is a good good comment here i think i think just like yeah it's it's like i get people's concerns and stuff like that i think it's uh you know because a lot of people just there's some star wars shows that people just haven't really liked unfortunately um but there's something there's a vibe about the show that i am just like i think like i have a good personally i have a good feeling about this show um i know where this is coming from from mike but um yes this is uh like i'm, I'm trying to be optimistic and i'm gonna explain too because i'm gonna pose a question to justin at the end when we uh are done uh talking about this i like what he said though i like what mike said about i'm going in with an open mind yeah yeah we don't know to. none of us know how the show's gonna be i think me and steve like optimism is the best word like I, I would hope that everybody wants the show to be awesome like if you love star like if you love star wars yeah, i'm hoping that good. that's what i'm saying so we don't all we have to go on is the trailer and so based on the trailer it i mean i'm more intrigued than i am like ah, oh, i'm not interested like i'm more intrigued by what i'm seeing so that's i like how he said an open mind like i think just judge for yourself when it comes out that's what i like to hear cage says by the way sup dudes what's up bro another what's channel up, member in the house cage let's go um emmy dyson says i would actually like to see a palpatine series where he discovers the dark sides and dark side and seeks out the sith religion i would love to see something like that um but i think this is this show is a really good opportunity to to show us something something unique you know what i mean like it, it's just and, and like it's just fresh it's fresh um christian cooper says i heard that the ray movie might not even happen yeah i've heard like rumblings that it's not gonna happen it's gonna happen who knows i'll just believe it when something actually comes out that is like for sure another thing is like um uh what's her name um who did wonder woman 1984 patty, patty jenkins. jenkins yeah patty mm -hmm. jenkins she just like randomly said like she got the like word that uh rogue squadron's happening again and that she got the script like the or she's gonna what? like do the like yeah yeah there's like rogue squadrons back on wow um so she just like randomly said that after some like it was after like a shareholder meeting or something i forget exactly what it was you can look it up the details but yeah she said like just randomly all of a sudden that like rogue squadron's back on so we'll see um X yeah you're right like, yeah, yeah yeah x man says i just want an over public movie show or something bring code tour to the screen give me revenue in the crew yeah man i uh i would love to see something like that and i think dawn of the jedi might kind of like we'll see what happens with that you know it's just really uh really uh cool uh to wrap up the trailer here was there a part of the trailer here that you that you thought was um that you thought was uh the best part the part that i probably got excited about other than seeing carrie and moss in it was the scene we talked about where i told you it kind of gave me the matrix um, oh yeah okay the matrix vibes yeah yep yep i got you um now what's going on here steve what's going on I, here this is a, this is intriguing right again like this is a, this this right he looks younger right here yes you know what i mean so like this makes me want this is cool this is cool and they're all lit up like this yeah so this makes me wonder like what like is this a flashback is this like really truly um you know is this really truly like gonna be a main scene in the show and who's holding the lightsaber is another big one right yeah um so this this is like yeah this this part's pretty interesting I, I just i don't know i have my like this could easily be a flashback this could easily be a flashback here but or or it could not be i'm just going with kind of what um you know what my like gut feelings are when i was watching this i watch it a like a couple times but i think it could be a flashback another thing is like i said i just don't know if this is going to be somebody who's a sith the other really intriguing thing I think about it is just everything to talk about the dark side because 
this is just like when another thing I was thinking about for like Sith and stuff like that is when like there's they're talking about Darth Maul and the Phantom Menace, right? And there's like the Sith have been extinct, you know, for years. The, the Sith have been extinct and they don't believe it, right? Um, so my, my I'm wondering, like, is this show going to have something to do with the fact that like they didn't know about it? You know what I mean? Like, does something happen here where it's like there's that mysterious element of like this, like something is happening where that like the Sith yes. are kind of being like brought up. Like that's kind of I the like vibe that. I get from this show where it's like, yeah, okay, so something happened there where they thought that the Sith have been, what did they say, they extinct for a, thou a thousand years? Mm -hmm. I think, right? And they don't know. They just don't like, they've like, oh, the Sith have been just extinct completely. Well, there's, pro there. it seems like there's something in this show that's going to come up that led to that, the fact that they missed it, that they missed yes. something where like this show is all about like darkness rising right so it's like mm -hmm. what happened along the way with the jedi that caused the high republic to fall and then like this set in right that's where like i'm intrigued by this show and that is a huge to me like a really big opportunity uh you know for star wars to do something fresh and really give us something that like we haven't seen so yeah that's kind of my, my thought about this but yeah, I mean, this ending is really cool with the force push and stuff like that. But um, yeah. let me take us back to, uh, let me get out of this. Uh, let me take us back here. So I want to pose a question to you. I yeah. want you to pitch to the people. What should they, like, why should they be, because there's a lot of rumblings about this show about, you know, there's just a lot of different, I want to keep it like on a positive note. There's a lot of rumblings about the show, about people like a lot of people don't have faith because they haven't like previous star Wars shows, you know, they have other issues with this show coming out. Um, what would you say to the people for them to keep the faith and why should they be excited about this? And why should they like kind of con convince them as, as to why you think this might be a, uh, like a, a good show and something that we need as star Wars fans. Okay. Let me think here. I think for me, and this is somebody that's enjoyed parts of every, like I, I try to find things I like about a show and I try to amplify that as opposed to, cause look, none of this stuff normally, you know, aside from a few things, none of it's perfect. You know, there's always stuff that you you're like, man, I wish they would have done that. I wish they would have done that. I wish they would have explored this or this as much as I love the prequel trilogy. And it's very nostalgic for me. I could totally say there's definitely flaws in it. Same with the sequel trilogy. There's a couple of things I really liked about it. There's a couple of things I hated about it. Okay. So for me, I think the best judgment is you like go, you know, I, I'm going to throw it back to Thrawn's office again, Mike. Go into it with an open mind is what I would say. You never know what you're going to find. You may miss out on a show. If you go into a show looking to hate it, you're going to probably hate it. If you're looking to go into a show, hey, no matter what, I'm going to love it because it's Star Wars. And if I'm a true Star Wars fan, I have to love everything. You're probably going to convince yourself you love it. Open <laughs> mind is the best way to go into it, man. Like be your own, be your own judge of the show. Like don't listen to what people are saying. Go into it with an open mind and and really decide if it's something you like if you don't like it cool you might like another show better uh that ahsoka was a perfect example so this will be my big one steve ahsoka was a show that i wasn't sure how much i was going to like i really liked rebels i was excited but i had some i had i was a little nervous about when this was coming out and i really enjoyed it man and if i would have listened to a lot of the people that said man this show's terrible blah 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 and again there's definitely flaws in yeah. the series but I just chose to look at the stuff I really, really enjoyed about it and kind of amplified that a bit more. So I guess that's kind of a pitch, Steve. I would just say, make up your own mind about if you enjoy something or not. Well said, man. Yeah. 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 Soko was great, dude. I, I just, yeah, it seems like it's almost it, like, I feel like people have just soured on Star Wars and then like people just go in with a negative expectation already. You know, it's just like not to, not to really enjoy it and get excited. I don't want to speak. I'm not speaking for everybody. I just, and usually the, the, the like minority is the loudest, but you know, it's just like, sometimes you get bogged down by uh, kind of just some of the comments about stuff. Um, but I want to get through a couple of comments here before I give my pitch to the people, but uh, let's see. 
Oh, uh, there's a lot. Oh, yeah. This is a good comment, too, from Thrawn's office. Remember, Andor is a show nobody asked for, and it's considered by many, including myself, to be top tier. You never know. I'm always rooting for Star Wars. This is a great comment. Yes. Another thing is, I remember Andor is coming out, and people are like, why do we even need this show? Like, we already... The one thing that... Ev the one... The comment that I hear so much as an as a reason why we don't need stuff that's that's older is we already know what happens. So you could say, why do we even need the acolyte? Because we already know what happens in all of Star Wars. Like prequel stuff is like it's just one of the the biggest things I hear is like, why do we need it if everybody we already know everybody dies? Like why do we need Rogue? One? Why do we need Rogue One? One of the best Star Wars movies. Why do we need Rogue One? We already know what happens to them. Right. And it goes down, like that's some people would say that's their favorite Disney property. Right. Because it's just it's such a great movie. But Andor is very similar, too. And I remember, too, like, no, this <laughs> you'd say this about any Star Wars property. I'm kind of going on a tangent here. But another thing is like the people who have watched Andor lo and or love it. Some people like hate Andor because there's no lightsabers in it. You know, like there's no lightsabers. I don't like this. Some people don't want to watch Andor because the first couple episodes are kind of like world building story slower and like I feel like too we're in we're kind of in a time where just in society where everybody kind of wants instant gratification like you watch something and it's like oh this is so great immediately like there's a ton of action it's so great and if you don't like it you move on right like there's some people just aren't like don't have like a lot of patience for stuff to like build up um I'm going to continue, but I want to get to more comments. Yeah, Andor is so good. Love Andor. Yeah, MB Dice asked this question. How many years before the prequels is this? Yeah, I think it's 200. I think it's 200. I put that in the comments as well. Um, T.O. said, an Assassin's in Intrigue is always welcome. That's my favorite stuff in episode two. Yep, that's MD. Uh, very cool as well. I love that kind of stuff. Um, murder mystery. Um, MB says, that's a cool, uh, new era. Cool. Yoda would be in his six or seven hundreds. You want to know the perfect cameo? Or I guess not probably not even a cameo because he's he'll be like his age during this time. This Yoda would be a great character to have in this. And like I think about like give us like a Jedi Council flashback of like Yoda briefing them with some of these other Jedi of like, hey, we got like what's happening with all these Jedi being killed. You know, like we need to, like Yoda being in the room and them talking as Jedi and saying like, cause you know, we're going to probably get a scene like this. Jedi are dying, right? We're probably going to get a round table discussion with the Jedi council of like, Hey, we need to investigate this and find out what's happening. Who's the perfect person to put there? Yoda, right? So that would be a perfect character to, to like put into this show, right? Without being overbearing and just like, Oh, we got to have all these familiar characters, right? Because Yoda's like, I mean, you just it may it would make sense for him to be in here, right? Um let's see, let me get some of these other comments. Uh yeah, why do we need the prequels? We already saw the OT, we already know we know what happens, right? Um MB Dyson says Yoda is my second uh favorite all time character um after Luke. Nice. Yoda's a great character, man. So I'm gonna give my kind of pitch real quick. I think I think to I kind of said a lot about it already, but I'm just, I get really passionate about Star Wars and the shows and stuff. Like I said, this is a fresh, this is something really fresh and new. And I feel like another thing that has happened in Star Wars, what happened with Ahsoka? Oh, you need this show. If you didn't watch Rebels, like you're not going to get it. Like that was a big complaint for people, right? Like if you haven't watched the animated stuff, you're not going to get as big of a payoff or like, oh, well, I shouldn't have to watch the animated stuff in order to understand something. Well, now... This is a fresh thing for you. You're getting something fresh. The Mandalorian, you know, you don't have to watch like, uh, or I think, I guess like Book of Boba Fett. There's Mandalorian elements in it, right? We get all these different shows where all this stuff you have to know so much about. Think about all the shows that have come out. Ahsoka, um, even Kenobi, I would say. Like, right? We already know what happens. That's what everybody says. We already know what happens, right? Um, pr just pretty much all the shows, like you already know what happens if it's something older, right? So... But this one, it's just something fresh. All the other shows that we've gotten are all familiar characters. Besides The Mandalorian. That was new. That was new, but it's kind of has brought in familiar faces, right? Book of Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Andor, we kind of already knew about him from Rogue One. Ahsoka, very long-standing history for years and years throughout Star Wars if you watch any of the animated stuff. This show, brand new. 
name a character in the trailer that you have seen in any other Star Wars, uh, like Star Wars movie or show. Um, this is an excite. This is this is what really gets me excited. We're getting something completely fresh. Like I said, something so cool. We're getting a star. To me, when I read Star Wars murder mystery, how cool does that sound? Like that is so badass to think about. We're gonna get literally a mur uh, a mystery thriller Star Wars show. I think that is so cool. Um, and uh, is I get when people I get like the the people having their doubts, but like I said, I just want to be and like you could argue that for a lot of different things. But like I said, I'm just trying to come at it from a point of positivity because I think like that's really important too of just like trying to be positive about it. And I think like, I really just have a good feeling about the show. There's so many cool things. Like I said, High Republic stuff, if you haven't gotten into it, is actually really good. It's just hard too, because anytime something is separated from a physical, like into different physical media, like into books and into comics, like it's hard to get it all. It's hard to keep up, right? So that's kind of like, well, I don't really know about the High Republic, but um, the show doesn't seem like you really need to know too much about it. You just need to know in that era, that's when the, we're at, they're at their peak. I'm sure we'll see elements of that, of the Jedi being at their peak, right? That, that was um, a great pitch, man. That was such yeah, a pat. Yeah. And, and you said it best, man. You're passionate about it. You're going to give it a chance. You're choosing to be excited about it. And that's the thing. Like, people forget, man. Like, a lot of people that didn't like the prequel trilogy when it was in theaters, they're nostalgic for that today, and they love it. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm just saying, man, you know, time, I always said this, like time's the best teacher. Like, you know, you might watch something and then like five years later, you're like, man, that's good. I, I'll, I'll put it this way. I watched Kenobi when it first came out. I, I wasn't huge on it. I thought it was okay. You know, I was like, there was stuff I loved. There was stuff I didn't. I've rewatched it a second time and I really found myself enjoying it more because I went into it with more of an open mind. I think I had heard about a lot of the reviews, so that was already in my mind a little bit. Yep. So I try to avoid any reviews before I can watch it just for yep. that reason. It kind of puts yep. you in that headspace already of like, you're looking for something not to enjoy, you know? Yeah. This happens also with every Star Wars show. Like if you get swallowed up in reviews and opinions from people, it's you're gonna just get like if you go in with the preconceived notion of what you're reading in reviews, you're just going to lose your own. Like you said, like go into it with what you, f what, with what you feel, you know, it's really easy to just kind of follow to what everybody else is saying about it and stuff like that. But like star Wars is really, um, star Wars is really unique because everybody has like kind of their different view of star Wars. Right. It's like everybody, yeah. like people who have seen the OT people who have seen the prequel. It's, it's, it's across, like it's across these different time periods. Right like across these different kind of generations if you will of of people so when it comes out everybody's reviews are way different of all this stuff it's a lot different um so just go into it like with what you know and what you care about star wars and see what happens you know what i mean but i'm really excited uh, i think this is so cool we get the peak of the jedi and then we're gonna see like darkness rising in that time period and give us kind of some information about why the jedi ultimately kind of lost like that peak kind of power and peace you know throughout the galaxy and it changed you know what i mean we're probably gonna get some elements of jedi too like jedi are very like it's kind of like good versus evil right like that's kind of like uh it's just like not not the whole entire thing about being a jedi but like you know how the jedi way is right that's like we're probably gonna get elements of that show and like or in the show and then like you know different jedi kind of like they're when we see Padawans and we see these young Jedi, you know we're gonna get stuff about like they're they have mixed feelings about things, right? And then they're gonna be seeing Jedi dying, and then what are they gonna do? What are they gonna think about that? Like that is it's just the whole show, the whole premise of the show really is intriguing for me. So I hope it's really good. Um, what I've seen so far, just in the trailer, I'm excited about. Like I'm ex I'm really excited about it. The action looks really good, and like if they can nail the story of a like actual mystery. Um, it can be really, really good. Yeah, and you said it best. I want to see that it. angle. I want, and this is the last thing I'll say. I, I want to see that angle of they don't see it coming. It's like this, uh, yeah. this, this almost foreign, like ancient evil, or or you know, it might not even be evil. It might just be different. You know, who knows how they're gonna tell the show? But I, I, I like that scene that you're talking about in the woods, where like they see that lightsaber and they're like, we haven't seen a lightsaber like that. Like it kind of has that vibe to it. So that would be really cool if it's almost like it catches them off guard. Like they're 
you know, at the top of the world, they're, you know, that's the only thing that's available right now. But now some people are getting mixed feelings. There's this other power that's drawn people in. And that would be a super cool angle, Steve, that you mentioned that I would, I would really like for them to explore that. That'd be yeah. a really cool, uh, an angle to have in the show. So, yeah. Also, and the episodes are only going to be mystery. Yeah. And the episodes, from what I understand, eight episodes, 30 minutes long each episode. It's not a huge commitment mm. from what I understand in this first season. Yeah, dude, I love a, I love a good mystery. I love a good mystery, and like, I do too, they can man. Really, if they can really nail it and like get you thinking, I hope I hope it's one of those shows like you know you watch like mystery th mystery shows and like thrillers where like it pulls you in multiple directions and you truly don't know. I hope they nail the aspect of like you truly don't know what the twist is gonna be, and then it's just something happens. You know what I mean? Like yeah. where they get you thinking all these different things, like oh, it could be this person doing this. Like I love that. I lo love watching shows like that. I just like seeing new Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, yeah, I just like seeing some new yeah. Star Wars we can talk about. You know, I love talking yeah. about the stuff that's out there. I love it. But I, I like you said, see, like something new, something fresh. Worst case scenario, you watch it, you don't like it, on to the next thing. They're going to keep releasing a lot of stuff. Like Disney's not going to stop uh, making Star Wars content, that's for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay, great discussion, man. I, I, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about the show. Excited I'm excited show. to talk, get... about, yeah. uh, talk about it with you while it's going on, man. It's going to be yep. fun. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. And I will be doing a show because I am going to do a live stream at the time once that drops. Just like I did, I did a show called After Ahsoka where we would review the Ahsoka episodes every week. I am yeah. going to be doing After Acolyte. Got to do it. Got to do it. So stay tuned for that. I usually do it uh, a few days after the episode airs. And I think it's on Tuesday. This I think the first episode is June 4th. I think it's a Tuesday. I usually stream on Friday. For the uh nice. to discuss the episodes so it'll be a good gives time. You a little time gives you a little time yep. to watch it gives everybody a time to watch it that's yep. cool and they'll probably do after and or once that drops to season two um i'll, I'll be there in the chat man. i'll be there in the chat <laughs> listening um okay let me get to a couple questions because i think somebody yeah. had a question on here christian said what's your guys favorite star wars movie mine is revenge of the sith do you have a favorite justin can you go first i gotta think Oh, sure. I'll get to some of the comments and then I'll answer. MB Dyson says, New Hope. It tells a complete story and would be great even if it had bombed and no more Star Wars was ever made. This is a really good point. Like, a New Hope could stand alone as its own story, right? You could end it. You could, like, really just put a cap on it right at uh, at the end and it would still be a really good story. That's true. Empire is a close second. Introduce Yoda. So glad they made more. Christian says, Return has always been his favorite OT movie. Vader turning to the light side. Uh, X Man says, "Yeah, they both. Those are both great. OT really is just the best trilogy ever made." Uh, we got Calvin Loki collector in the house. What's up, bro? Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Really good to see you in here. Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, good to see you, bro. Uh, Brad says, "Empire Strikes Back." I mean, Dyson says, "I just googled Andor season two. Yes, it did. It got delayed, unfortunately." Um, are we still so getting skeleton crew this year? I believe it's like still slated for later this year. I thought was the rumor, but who knows with the writer strike and stuff. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of surprised. Like this show, like this, this must have been like near being done. Yeah. Like it's kind of crazy. I don't, I yeah. don't really know. But um, yeah, yeah. June's gonna be good. There's a lot of stuff coming out in June. Um, Star Wars favorite movie. So, uh, Brian walks in the house. What's up, Brian? I know, uh, Brian. I I know you just sent me a, a message. I will check it when when I'm done streaming. But Brian, uh. uh a channel member and also i just want to give a shout out to brian because we're going to talk about uh his uh we're going to talk about the um the new Maji space mono case which i have a prototype it's right behind me it's right there Whoop. right behind me i'm not fully done with it i didn't have a, enough time to fully build it um but i have most of it set up i just got to put the shelves in uh but uh yeah we're going to talk about that in a in a few minutes here uh so brian thank you so much for tuning in man uh Theron's office is after Ahsoka, after Acolyte, after Andor, after Asajj. <laughs> um, I, I rewatched one of y'all's older episodes because uh, I was we were talking about Ahsoka in the chat one time, and uh, and Theron's office was like at that time Mike, but uh, he was like, "Yo, it sounds like you could watch a little after Ahsoka." And so I like oh, went. Yeah, I watched like yeah, a little yeah. bit. I watched a little I bit. I remember of that he episode, said that man. to you. Yeah, he's yeah, like, go back and watch that, all man. of. Uh, yeah, go back and watch all of them. That was a fun. I love doing that show. That was a lot of fun. We go through just like we did the trailer. But we yeah. go through the whole show. Oh, you know, that's awesome, whole, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, do stills of the whole show. Yeah. Um, MB Dyson says, Eagle Sneaker, something with Obi-Wan, I suspect. Yeah, so Star Wars, my favorite Star Wars movie. 
This is really tough. So like, I it's hard because I like different elements of different movies. Like usually what happens is when I watch something like, same with shows, so like Acolyte will come out and then it'll be like, sometimes I don't love breaking stuff down episode by episode. I kind of like to wait till the end of the season and then, uh, and then get every, like a culmination of everything. And then like, look at the show as a whole. But, um, I really like Empire Strikes Back is like, essentially a perfect movie to be honest like empire is so good it's probably like it's i go i go back and forth on this between empire and actually return of the jedi return of the jedi is most nostalgic for me so like i used to bring um i've talked about this in the past but i used to bring like a return of the jedi luke skywalker to kindergarten recess um that was like the power of the force one i actually still have it i can grab it and show you but um i'll grab it in a second show you but Return of the Jedi is most nostalgic and my favorite version of Luke is him in his Return of the Jedi outfit. You know, like Christian brought up with like Vader turning at the end, but that lightsaber fight and just the meaning behind all of it is just really, uh, it, that's like one of the best things for me to, you know, Luke and just the dynamic him and Vader and just everything that's going on, the culmination of everything in that moment, right? So yeah, it's really hard for me to pick a favorite but that's what I'll, I guess that's what I'll say about, about that. Justin, you can go. I'm still listening to you in my ear, but I'm going to grab my little Luke Skywalker figure so I can show the people. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. I'll pick one from each trilogy. Um, I think Empire is the best movie of the original trilogy, but I, I'm with Steve. I have the most nostalgia and I probably rewatch, I've rewatched Return of the Jedi more than any other original trilogy, but I think Empire's better, but I'd say Return of the Jedi is my favorite of the original trilogy prequels same deal i think i think uh episode three is the best but phantom menace is my favorite of the prequel trilogy and then force awakens from the sequel trilogy i mean i think that's like an easy one but uh did you say phantom menace for uh prequels is my favorite i think sith is the best movie of those prequels but i uh phantom menace is the one i've re i've rewatched the most it's the one it was one of my favorite like as a young kid like one of my favorite yeah, the theater going experience yeah, yeah i mean that there, it's hard to replace that so when people say a new hope's their favorite like when i hear people i totally get it because it was like the first time they'd ever seen a star wars movie in theater that was me like with phantom menace that was the first one i ever saw in theater and so uh yeah me too so yeah so honestly, I, I won't I won't cheat it out. I'll answer the uh, the question. I'd probably say Phantom Menace for that reason alone. It it, it has yeah. that big nostalgic pull for me, and so that's that probably would put it over the top if I could only pick one. Very cool, man. This is my figure right here. This guy. Oh, man, you got that in pretty good condition, man. This is literally the one I took right here. Sorry, it's it's my camera's catching me, but and then like you know his robe comes off, so like. It's just so it's just such a such a uh there you go my camera look at that look at that head sculpt and i know I you know want that you want that figure too I, i've heard now you my say camera you won't pick it up very good suit yeah <laughs> i'm like this <laughs> i'm trying to figure it out but <laughs> there you go power <laughs> of the force luke skywalker i keep him over on my desk you know as a reminder of uh my collecting journey in my life and just bringing that's that's why i took to kindergarten I had, now my son has them now i've given all my power of the force figures to my son um that's other than that about, one man. other than that one yeah. that's uh that's only, and the, you know they're not really worth anything so i just it's funny i gave all my power of the force figures to my son he was he was probably a little like maybe three and a half at the time sometime last year but um i had a lot of figures like it's i don't even know it's probably like 40 or 50 of them and I'm just like, here you go. <laughs> and I was talking to my wife and I was like, you know, I probably could have done like a, maybe like one figure a day thing for like a really long time. And I was just like, here you go. <laughs> uh, those are the lessons that you learn is uh, when you become a parent, it's just, uh, yeah. yeah, it's funny. But, um, I just gave it, gave them all to him at once. So there you go. Um, they're on soft after alien Romulus. <laughs> think, look at all the things that start with a, it's crazy. It's so yeah. crazy, man. Um, okay. Yeah, good question. Lo love some Star Wars talk. I love uh, reminiscing about uh, the original trilogy for sure. 
Okay, I want to bring one more thing up here. Let me, uh, I want to talk about this case real quick. What time are we at? Ooh, hour 43, man. We are, uh, we are rolling. Um, so what Star Wars can do, opens up a, opens yep, up the conversation. Yep, yep, yep. Let me pull this up real quick. Next, I want to talk about the Maja Space, a new case. Uh, okay. Let me see. If I bring us back here, let me see. Give me one second. Oh, look at that. It actually does fit. Here, hold on. I got to crop this a little bit. Okay, there we go. You can see. I'll do this. I think we got it. Okay, I want to just talk about this real quick because Maju Space brought or put out this post uh, earlier today, I believe it was, and finally showed this, you know, introducing the mono. Uh, their shelf that kind of, you know, I feel like uh, the majority of people when they see this, right, they think of like the Detolf, like MB Dyson's already saying Maju Detolf, right? Yeah, it is like, it's very similar to like a, a, a Detolf or even like now it's like the Blaledins, um, the Blalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
So I'm like, I'm, I'm getting more cases too, but also like these are really nice because then you can do like some standalone figures. I didn't really want to fully get rid of like the look of having a look like this where you can have maybe one or two figures or like I thought about, I, I might want to do like a rotating display. So I kind of, um, you know, I'm considering doing like, uh, you know, figures of the month and just kind of keeping it fresh where like I go to my cases over here and I pull, you know, a figure out and maybe keep it in there for a month or something like that or a couple of weeks or what have you, right? Like where I can showcase, kind of rotate different figures in and out um, or just have standalone pieces. Like we just talked about the Umbra Trooper, right? Having a standalone piece, something that could go in here, which is really nice. Um, there's just something about the single cube look like this where having like one or two figures in it is just really nice. The awesome thing about these cases, like I said, I'm not going to spill the beans too much, but you're getting like the same level of quality that you get from other Maju spaces that you have. So if you have six series or DFs, like these are the same materials. Um, the only the, like the, you know, you have the, the same like aluminum channels. Um, let's see if I can this work yeah so like these are aluminum channels there is some like you know like wooden panels up here um that you have to like attach these into but the rest of it is like aluminum channels um and then you get you know you get your these different shelves the nice thing is the shelves are fully adjustable so you just change these little things right here that are underneath the shelves there's like these little brackets that you put in the channels and you have you then you can you know adjust the position of those and then move the shelves up and down which is really nice um so you have full adjustability which is great and then each of these shelves right here um you know you're gonna have an option where you know you could have this or potentially like a plexiglass shelf um that's still in process but like i said i'm saving some stuff for the review but it's really nice so if you have maji spaces already and you're looking like i have mine set up like i said it's kind of behind me i can try to move out of the way you can't really see it like all that great it kind of blends in right it's, it's right here this is exactly where mine's gonna go um you can't really see it too well because my space is pretty dark right there but like i said i'm gonna be doing a review this weekend and talking about you know everything uh included with it um but yeah also it was it was very simple to build i'm pretty much done building it and it, i didn't even use instructions so it was very uh you know really simple to build um but yeah very cool I don't want to spend too much time on it because like i said you guys can can like stay tuned for the review right like i said i'm gonna go you know a lot more in depth but i'm really happy to have it um i'm i'm gonna get i i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get at least one more um for sure when like they're like available for sale but like i said i'll talk about some of that stuff in my review but um i'm i'm pretty pleased with it if you want like the if you like I said, glass kind of freaks me out in my basement. So it's acrylic and you get like that more premium feel to it versus like having something that, you know, might be a little bit uh, like that you might have to pay less for. But um, also the lights, the strips are right here on the inside. So you get two long LED strips that illuminate the figures that go like all the that. way up and down. Yep. I got a yep, question, so. Steve. Maybe you know the yep. answer. Uh, with these since these are smaller in scale as opposed to like the well maybe they're not because i know you kind of put those maju space cases together like you buy different ones is this one going to have probably the same uh shipping time and all that yeah so let me talk about that i just want to give a shout out to my father Django, who's tuned in thank you so much for being here man really appreciate uh really appreciate you tuning into the stream yeah so the nice thing brian talked about in the past with these is that these are actually going to be outsourced i think i want i i don't want to say it wrong but I'm, i think he said they're going to be outsourced to maybe malaysia but because they're a lot easier to manufacture like the maji spaces are a lot more difficult to train people to get the manufacture because they're a little bit more intricate but because these are more simple to manufacture it's going to be outsourced and um the stock will be more readily available okay. um so it's going to be outsourced that those people will make the batch send the batch and then you'll be able to order them it's just going to depend on how you know how many they can make a batch and how you know yeah like you know uh, the process with that but yeah these are not going to be um you know they're not going to be like waiting for another case like waiting for the cases that are out now so it should be okay. it should be quicker because like i said they're outsourced doesn't take as much training they can do the batches quicker and get them made quicker versus some of these other cases because it's hard to train people um and it's a difficult process to make them um 
X-Man says, I would love to have module cases, but I couldn't do the wait time with how fast my collection has grown over the last several months. And now I have garage racks and no room for anything else. Yeah, stuff so you got to kind of like, like plan ahead and think about, you know, getting like ordering them, you know, pretty far ahead. Um, and then like what happens is, you know, if you collect a lot of stuff, then you run out of space, you know? Um, so then you want to get like more of them and then you have to wait, you know? So, but hopefully that will, you know, get better over time as far as the waiting periods go. And I know too, like Maja Space had like a, there was like a flood in their facility. So they got set back because there was like a really bad, you know, flood. So, um, but hopefully, hopefully as time goes on, the wait times, you know, get better. Um, but at the same time, like, you know, just plan, try to plan ahead, think about ordering. And I know like it's worth the wait. I know it's really hard to hear that sometimes, like when you're waiting for a long time, but it's worth the wait. Once you get them, you get them set up and you're like, you know, just see how the figures are displayed in person. It's different looking at them online too, but once you see it in person, it's just kind of a different, uh, a different feel for it. But, um, yeah, they're, they're well worth the wait. And also Brian is just an amazing dude. I can't say enough good things about him as far as his customer service. Like he'll take care of you. If you have an issue, it's going to get resolved if you have an issue. So their customer service is just absolutely amazing as well. So, uh, keep that in mind. Um, MB Dyson says, can the shelves be moved to a new location after assembled or do you need to take them apart first? So the shelves actually, there's these little brackets, like you, I'll show you in the, in the picture. So right here where this little bracket is, you put four of these in each side. And then those are like screwed into a little slider in the aluminum channel. So you can unscrew a little screw that's attached in here and you can slide this piece up and down on each of the four channels. The shelf can just be lifted up out of there. The brackets, these little brackets right here have these little suction cup things on the bottom of them that the that the uh, shelf sits on top of. So you can move, you can take the shelf right out if you want. Like they just go in, you like turn it and you set it right in there, but you can lift it right out of there if you want to, the shelf at any point in time. You don't need to like take anything apart to at least lift the shelf up and off of it. And then you just have to move those little sliders. So you're gonna have to level it out. Um, but it's no different than if you had a detolf and you got like those brackets that go inside a detolf where you have to like kind of like clip them around the um like the hook in the detolf and then you got to try to screw them on like these brackets are a lot easier to move um i would say but you still have to level them um yeah good question um so yeah i mean this should be like i said i'll, I'll put in i'm going to be putting them out my review hopefully by the end of the weekend i plan to pretty much get that hopefully done uh tomorrow uh, with my thoughts on it and kind of going through a little bit more in depth about it um but yeah i'm excited about it i think it's a really good option for people if you want something um like i said for me no glass is a big plus i don't really want glass um you know you see the horror stories about detoffs like shattering and stuff too so but then again if you don't have to worry about that some people are like no glass is better um then teach their own you know what i mean everyone's gonna be a little bit different about their display but like i said this is to, to sum it up this is going to be the same quality. If you already have Maji Space cases, this is same quality, I would say. Like same quality and uh, like it blends very well with all the other cases that you have. You have them. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Let me move us back here. Oh, I almost just removed you. <laughs> that's okay. If you got it, if that's you're what here. you have to do. You're here. Um, so what are we talking about now? We're going to talk about some pre-orders that we want to talk about. Yeah, if you want. I mean, if, if, if it's up to you, totally up yeah, to you. Yeah, dude. Let's talk about some pre-orders. And you you specifically wanted to talk about some pre-orders, so I'm going to let you talk about whatever I'm you excited, want. excited, but also related. ashamed of myself. In a yeah, way. We, so, so we like, gonna... <laughs> we th there's a segment that I'm going to start doing. And like, I guess this can kind of be a part of it. I, I jokingly said to you, we should, we should do a segment on the next show called like Hot Toys Transgressions, right? Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, I think yeah. I'm going to actually do that as a segment at some point, but it's kind of like, we all talk about, you know, you hear on all these different shows and everybody talking about like how they navigate things and what they do for the hobby, right? And like how you got to stay strong and like be careful with pre-ordering and like don't give in to like the FOMO and all that stuff. Um, yep. But then things happen and we get some transgressions. And I think last time I talked to you, I think, honestly, I think when I had you on collector tour, you had like a handful of pre-orders. <laughs> yeah. You had, I think, like five or six. I'd have to go back. I don't quote me on it, but I think you said maybe five or six or something. Yeah. I should go back and look. 
Yeah. How many, if you're okay with sharing, how many pre-orders would you no. say you have now? Man. I you're probably to have to have like. You're supposed to go to your spreadsheet. I know. I don't. He, Graham sent it to me, but I had like a, like a, ter, I'm just like a beginner. With you. No, I know, but like a true beginner, I haven't used it. Um, I think okay. I have to have like 15 now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It has to be 50. I'd, I'd have to count because I don't remember what I told you, but I, I'd have to like, I mean, I know which ones I've pre-ordered, but like it started with Balin and Shin. And so when I pre-ordered them two, I did what everybody does. I know X-Men, I, I know he fell down the same rabbit hole is, oh, well, I now need these Ahsoka figures too. So I ordered a few of those and, uh, I, I, I was messaging you cause I was like, oh man, underground's got a, uh, Obi Wan uh, DX, I just I just started rewatching the show and I and I was loving it and so I was like, all right, gotta have this now. And then you're not gonna get an Obi Wan without a Vader, so I got Vader too, man. So <laughs> and like it's just uh, Star Wars, man. I love it, but it is just you said it earlier. It's a gold mine in a good way but also like you got to be careful with it because there's so many things to collect with star wars so many things i love in star wars that and, and i just love how everything can almost go together it's like the one property that i feels like you can have different displays of like the shows the prequels the whatever but they the unison of the display just to me just looks really cool like i just love yep. seeing the generations of of characters so You've been swallowed whole by the hobby already. I haven't, <laughs> no, dude, I haven't no, even I'm mentioned. I didn't want to just list all of them, but I, I have more. Like I have, I've, I've done, I've done more damage than that. I just thought you'd be interested in those. Those are more like the Star Wars ones. Oh no, you can keep uh, talking. You can keep talking about it. Go ahead. Well, like I told you, I bought the Padme, so I already had the Anakin on pre-order. Already had the Mace on pre-order. Nice. Um, oh, I forgot I pre-ordered Mace too. And then I went ahead and I was able to find the Avatar figures. <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. I just went. I, I had that day like you had, where like you messaged me. You got you both like, the Avatar figures. Yeah, the deluxe versions, dude. It's 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 sickening. Damn, I still need to see Way of the Water. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, and it. I just I, those figures to me just. I decided I really wanted them. Like I I really wanted them. I had a video, and I'm not trying to plug a video, but I had a video about like don't overlook these figures, and they were on there because I I really think that like those are going to be great figures, and so. I was like, dude, I got, I really need these. Like, I don't know why I haven't pre-ordered these yet. I need them. So I had to kind of search for them, but I was able to pre-order them. So, um, yeah, dude, what, you talk a little bit. I'm embarrassed, man. I'm embarrassed. You're embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> know, That's a lot to be excited about. 2024 is in into 2025. There's it's insane, so man. much to be excited about. It's crazy. Cause I, I like collected backwards. Cause you know, I've been in the hobby a little over a year and a half. I, well, I guess around a year and a half now, but yeah, I collected backwards a lot. And now I'm like more moving for looking forward of what's ahead and it's it's crazy i collected a lot backwards and then look looking forward just like compared to the stuff i have now there's a lot of it like i love all the stuff i have now but there's also just some really really good stuff coming out that i'm really excited to add in you know what i mean i have a oh, lot yeah. of pre-orders too so um but i just want to give a quick shout out um my father Django said uh Balin is the only figure I, I've ever pre-ordered I just want to give him a quick shout out because he's got I'm going to post it actually in in the chat but he's got a really dope Instagram page too um with like uh just some like really cool photos and stuff that he takes that are just yeah really really cool so uh yeah go yeah, check out uh my father Django on Instagram um, I love this stuff so and I appreciate you tuning in the show uh Brad has 14 pre-orders okay Brad so yeah there go, okay there you go um, X Man's doing a little worse than we are. Yeah, <laughs> Christian, I feel like I'm falling deeper down the rabbit hole. I want all the Bad Batch. Yeah, bro, Bad Batch, great line. Grail I line, had to, future Grail line, yeah. future Grail line. Yep, X Men. Ah, I remember when I had 15 pre-orders. Hello, and I have 30. <laughs> went the went the opposite way. <laughs> Christian says, Justin, are you getting that 73 Wolverine? Dude, I want that one, and I'm not. I, I promise y'all, Steve has done it. I'm not trying to, but I I've been watching it because I've been waiting for certain ones to come back into stock. But uh, I saw where I think it was Underground has it's not only the deluxe, but he's also just got the regular one, Christian. So if if you're kind of holding off because you didn't want to pay for the deluxe, I think he's got the standard one. That's honestly, even though I normally always go deluxe, if I do get that figure, Christian, I'll probably just get the figure. Like I don't think for that one I really need the deluxe. Yeah, they're both in stock. Up. Yeah, so to answer your question, say, I'm eventually going to get that one. 
Yeah. I should say the deluxe is in stock, ready to ship. The other one is technically a pre-order, but it's estimated to ship on April 1st, which is next, which is like a week and a couple of days, Monday, April 1st. Yeah. So there you go. You started this though, Steve, with that, with the Black Adam, <laughs> the pre-order of the Black Adam, and you, you kind of, I don't know if I had a worse day, not a worse. I mean, it's kind of a good day too, but I'm wondering who had the, who had the bigger day. Of pre I know that one day you kind of went a little crazy on it too. That was that day. So also Black Adam, if anybody's looking, if anybody's legitimately, um, my father Jingo says, thank you, uh, sneaker, you rock. Oh yeah, bro, for sure. For sure. Love uh, supporting other, other creators, no doubt. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you tuning into the show. Um, MB Dyson says, I only have like five pre-orders and five that I'm paying off. Nice, nice. Smart. Jose smart. says, I have more pre-orders than X-Man Supreme. Damn. Damn. Okay, Jose. Okay. Um, <laughs> I feel uh, better now. See. I feel better. This Ahsoka line is really going to test me. Yeah, I'm all in on the Ahsoka line. I've just, I've given it. It's so it good, man. Uh, yeah, late it's Bloomer's so in the house. What up, gents? What's up, Late Bloomer? Thank you so much for tuning in, bro. What's up, man? There's a lot, a lot going on in the chat, but uh, I did an episode with Late Bloomer Collector to her. Uh, great dude um yeah go uh you can go check out that episode and uh uh yeah great dude uh, i was on i was on so with him for, for uh show. yeah and i was on with him on one of the movie canons uh a couple weeks oh yeah ago. yeah i remember that yep, yep yeah it was a blast man dude's a dude's hilarious yep, dude. dope dope uh let's see here i mean it says my father jingle dude your picks are sick right That's what i mean they really are really good um really good his 501st shot is really dope with Captain Rex with the 332nd too and uh, like all the clones with the orange Ahsoka helmets. Very cool. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so I had like, uh, so I bought Black Adam, which I broke a cardinal rule of mine, which is never get a figure from anything you haven't seen. <laughs> I still have it. My plan was to watch a movie yesterday, but I couldn't. Um, I couldn't watch it last night. I might actually, what time is it? I might actually win the shows. Watch over. it tonight. When we're done, I might turn it on if I can. Stay and then away. when you hate it, and then when you hate it, sell the figure to me for fifty percent off <laughs> MSRP. So if anybody wants a deluxe Black Adam, which is going for Buku bucks on on eBay, there's a DX thirty, the one with like the with the black cloak. Uh, that's still available for pre order, estimated to ship April first on Underground Figures. So don't pay crazy if you're looking for a Black Adam. Is but that I got that's a DX. what you got, Steve? Right? No, no, I got the golden armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I got the one without the cloak. I like the cloak, but I wanted that hero look of uh, like Black Adam, like when he has like his full powers and stuff, you know, like I wanted that representation. And also he's got a really badass cape, you know, the one that like, the way that they it attaches into the shoulders. Um, it's just a really cool like innovation by Hot Toys, the way his cape attaches. It looks badass. So that figure I, looks phenomenal, man. It really does. Yeah, it looks yep, great. So, so I got that. And then also um, I'm I pre-ordered I pre -ordered John Wick. Because John Wick special edition is low stock on Sideshow. And I'm not, when I'm not doing it, I, I go Sideshow if it's something special edition. So like Kenobi I, Deluxe, I went Sideshow because it comes with the hilts in the box as a special edition accessory, which is a really cool accessory. But um, I won't go, otherwise I go under round figures for everything, uh, unless there's something special edition. Um, but yeah, so John Wick special edition rifle, like, the only way you're getting it is from Sideshow unless you want to go overseas. I've had some bad luck getting stuff overseas. Um, it's unfortunate. I just have had bad luck and, you know, it's it's really hard if you get something from overseas. You take that gamble. If something's wrong, you're, it's usually on you to ship it back and it just turns into a big mess. So I usually don't, like, I'm kind of done ordering exclusives overseas um, or I've at least on a very, too. very, very limited basis. Just That's just my experience. Some people have great experience because it's... The likelihood of you getting something damaged is slim. You know what I mean? It just had a, sh I had a string of bad luck at one point. It just sucked. But, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah. So then also I started looking at the arm, like the Batman and the armory. And, um, cause I've been, I, and I, the, the other thing is too, is like, I, I pre-ordered a couple things, but also with stuff that I've been looking for, for like, I've been eyeing for a while, been eyeing for a while. Um, one of them being Batman and the armory. Uh, with like the updated DX19. Um, so I wanted to get like, I have an art Joker. Like I need to get something from Dark Knight. You know what I mean? Um, or like that trilogy. So 
Yeah. I went ahead and pre-ordered the Armory. I I actually met, I was looking at it on Underground Figures. I was looking at the Armory and I messaged Ray and I said, um, I just emailed. I, well, I emailed him before that. I said, "Hey, how many like Batman's and Armories do you have left?" And he said, "I have one left." And that one's waitlisted on Sideshow already. So I'm like, mm, if I'm going to make a move on this, like I should just do it now because um, I, I do want to add it into the collection. So ended up pulling the trigger on that. What else? Um, I pre-ordered Mace Windu a while ago, which I thought I pre-ordered and I apparently didn't. So I got that coming in. Uh, oh, Return of the Jedi Vader. I got Deluxe that. Vader. Yeah. Me as well. Yep. Deluxe Return of the were... Jedi yeah. Me and you were going back on that. You the the John Wick when I got the heads up about the the and again I know that low stock but I get it but like uh, I, I I forgot to mention those so the John Wick and the Return of the Jedi Vader I went because the Return of the Jedi Vader is like my one of my most anticipated of the entire year so like I'm like you I just wanted to go ahead and get it so that way I wasn't stressed about it I feel like that figure is going to be phenomenal so yeah I'm excited about that figure as well for sure for sure I'm gonna put a poll up. How many pre-orders do you have? I'm going to add a bunch of options. Four. I can only add four options. What should they be? Less than five. Uh, five to ten. Five to ten. Ten to fifteen. And then fifteen plus. Does that work? Let's do that. Let's do that. Because fifteen was like the number I put out there. I want to see. I already, I already know Jose and X-Man have me beat. Me and Brad are in the same boat, basically. I want to hear from you guys, man. man. Help me feel better about myself. So many good figures, though, Steve. I mean, I know, like, it, it, there's just so much stuff. <laughs> I sound like a dude who's like about to just have a crap load of figures, but like, there's just so <laughs> it's, much. It's stuff. So like, it's these also, are characters I love that are coming out. Like, it's also really hard when. Um, it's really difficult when you collect multiple ips once you go that route like so when i first started collecting you know a lot of people already know this but i was like i'm only doing star wars if i'm getting into this hobby i'm only doing star wars and then i didn't <laughs> yeah. i did for like a few months and then i got like i had a couple figures already the first one that i had that was not star wars was the like the limited exclusive stealth suit cap from endgame and then yeah. um then I got NR Joker. Once I got really after, actually probably once I got the NR Joker, that's when I was like, damn, okay, like I'm probably gonna start branching out. You know what I mean? Um Christian says just pre-order my special edition John Wick the second. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Dude, that was funny because I forget. Um that might I forget, was that on my stream? It might have been on my stream. I think it was on Collector Tour on Monday when I was with Jose. I was saying this too. And a couple people in the chat were like, yep, ordering that John Wick right now. And that's one. John Wick's a little bit... Uh, John Wick is a little bit... Like, this is a special case for me because my plan was I knew I was going to get John Wick. We knew I wanted the figure. And I knew I was going to get the special edition for the rifle. Again, sucks. You have to only, you can only go through one place, which is Sideshow, to get it. Um, unless you want to go overseas. I was kind of just waiting. My plan all along for John Wick was I'm going to wait till this figure hits low stock and then I'm going to buy it because Sideshow keeps doing these short term like $5 rewards, $5 rewards for RSVPing to this thing, to this thing, the birthday thing. So I knew I was going to pre-order John Wick. I was trying to let my rewards stack up as high as I could get them. And I think I had like a little over, I think I had almost $50 in rewards. So I used all my rewards on, uh, on John Wick. I was just waiting for it to go low stock. So that's how, what I ended up doing. But yeah, I was talking about it. And then it was funny because we were having the discussion on the collector tour about like, hey, how do you navigate the hobby and stuff like that? And then it's like, I pre-ordered John Wick. Oh, um, and it's, and just, on, it's funny. On, and on the episode that I had with you, I was like, you know, my, you know, even as a new collector, one of my biggest advices is don't get in over your head. Fast forward now. I, I If I had to guess it, I probably have more than 15. If like I'm starting to add things up in my head, man, it looks bad. It looks yeah. good, but it looks bad. You know what I mean? Now, yeah. I will say this. I'm with you, though, Steve. There hasn't been one figure in this. I think this is what everybody says to warrant why they do it. But there hasn't been one that wasn't on my radar. Like you said, these were ones that you were already pretty much sold on that you just hadn't got it around to pre-ordering yet. Same. Maybe the Black Adam was the one that you got that you initially weren't going to touch. 
but that's the same thing with me. Like all these were ones that I was, I knew I was going to pre-order. I just decided sure. like when I saw a couple on low stock, I said, you know, why am I waiting around? Like I'm going to just pre-order these now. So that way I can like forget about it and move on to some other stuff in a couple months. So I just like having those already in the bag, you know? Yeah. Also like, it's good for like, you're like, you're not really new in the hobby anymore. Like you've been in it for a good amount of time now, but also like you're building your collection. Like you're going to end up, you're yeah. going to get a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is awesome. Would and, you say I'm a veteran? Like, no, I said, which is awesome. <laughs> no, I said, you, would you say I'm a veteran, a, a, a collecting no. veteran with one sixth? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not quite. I'm not. No, me neither. Me neither. Um, X-Man said I had to pre-order John Wick. He was always on my radar. Yep. Uh oh, MB Dyson just pre-ordered something too. What'd you pre-order, bro? You can't just like say something. You got to let it. You got to spill the beans. My father, Django, says so many good figures. Figurecraft is in the house, a uh, channel member of the Evil Empire, which if you would like to join the Evil Empire, the uh, link is in pinned in the chat. I always pin it in there in case anybody's feeling like they want to want to join the ranks. Still trying to figure out a channel membership name for all the people, but Splurge Trooper is, I, I still really like that one. Um, I considered like doing a rank, I'm considering like a ranking system, like an Imperial ranking system, like actually using Imperial ranks, you know, like officer ranks. Like the longer you're in, like you have a rank, you know what I mean? So not only do you get like an upgraded badge, but you get like on the shout out page, you get like, uh, just a different, like grand moth would be an example or like something like that, where you just kind of climb the ranks the longer you're in, but just an idea. Not sure if I'm going to do it yet. Steve, do you got Bane pre-ordered? I don't, don't have Bane. You're going to, you're going to get Bane though, right? I will probably get Bane now that I'm getting Batman. Yeah. But Bane's waitlisted. Like, yeah, Underground is out and Underground is waitlisted. So you can't even really. Yeah, we'll see. He'll probably pop back up. Yep. Uh, MB Dyson said, uh, X06 Major Cure from Star Trek. I'm starting to get those and there were only two left on Big Bad Toy Store. Nice. Nice. X-Men, I have 136 in rewards, just holding on as long as I can. Bro, you got all them pre-orders and you got 136 in rewards. <laughs> That's crazy. You gotta put you gotta put that towards a figure, bro. You gotta put it towards the next uh, pre-order you have. X-Men, X Men's probably thinking yeah. like I'd wanna have an I'm just, he's just gonna stockpile these rewards, man. I feel like till he can buy one figure outright with yep, the rewards. Yep. yep. Uh figure crafts does anyone get the arch trooper and did it ship out? I did well, I didn't get it in the lottery, but a friend of mine uh hooked me up. A friend of mine hooked it up. And he's shipping it to me. So, well, he, sh he actually has changed the address on the order and it's shipping to me from Sideshow. So, uh, I don't know. I'd have to ask him if it shipped out. I'm not sure. Not sure yet. Um, Christian Cooper says, right now I'm trying to decide if I want to sell all my legacy sabers. I have to get more hot toys. Yeah, you could. You could. I collected all the Star Wars novels too. Like, I tried hunting down like first edition, first print Star Wars novels of all like the new canon stuff and had... I don't know, 90% of it, but then I sold it all because I wanted more figures. <laughs> um, the X-Men says, my current collection costs me about as much as a Harley Davis, and that shit hit me up real hard the other day. Hey, yeah. Which is crazy if you really think about it. Like, I know we talk about this, and this is an interesting point for the hobby is like, maybe you get like a, like, yeah, you get to the level where like you have enough figures where it's like, you know, you're worth the value of like a car or a motorcycle but at the same time, like that's sometimes like what people get for their hobby. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like people buy boats, people buy whatever. So, you know, people buy jet skis, people buy boats, motorcycles, snowmobiles. Like when you get into like, that's a hobby. People buy guns and they go to the shooting range. Ammo is really expensive. Like it's just, it's like, what do you think? Is it just like another, is it just like another hobby? Like, should we really yeah. even like look at everybody's, it? Everybody's, yeah, everybody's, whether they th think they're doing it or not, I feel like everybody's kind of collecting something. Like, somebody might buy a lot of shoes, somebody might buy a lot of clothes, somebody might buy a lot of, um, like you said, Steve, like they might be somebody who loves fishing. Maybe they, you know, buy a lot of, you know, fishing equipment. I don't know, but your money's buy probably a lot of gonna... fishing equipment. <laughs> Why buy a lot of bait? I've always tried to justify why I buy this. I was like, you know, I mean, you know, I don't collect motorcycles, so I can, I can buy another one. It's okay. But no, it's, uh, it's always smart. Somebody said, uh, I forgot who it was. Maybe it was MB Dyson or somebody, but said he has, he's paying off five. I think that's a very wise decision. I mean, again, 
that's something that I try to do. Like if I, sometimes I'll just randomly like just pay off a figure. Like I, I don't try to do that. Cause I like to, I hate, I'm kind of like Steve now where I don't like for a company to have my money and that's why underground such an awesome thing. Cause like I can, and it's kind of dangerous too. Cause you can just easily pre-order stuff. <laughs> um, yep. but I do, I, I I'm kind of with Steve on that with like, it's tough to do that, but every once in a while, if it's a figure that I like 100% know, like the Bane and stuff, that one's pretty much already paid off because I just know that like I wanted that one. And so it, it, it kind of makes it easier because I'm my big fear is that like five of them are going to ship at once and then I'm paying for five at the same time. Yeah, that happens at times. Hopefully not five. Hopefully, hopefully not. I'm five nervous about stuff. it, man, because like it, the, they're going the to hit. They're going to hit. That so happened like, to me. That happened to me. I got. Well, I got the Iron Man Mark III late. Like, I, I was debating on whether or not I was going to get it. And, like, I wanted it. And then some things changed up. I sold a couple things ended up getting it. But I got, yeah, Mark III, Ca uh, Mark III Cobb Vanth, and Wrecker all on the same invoice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it sucked. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm worried about, man. With yeah. Some of these. Jazz D's in the house. What's up, Jazz D? A new name uh, in here. So thank you so much for tuning in uh, to the show says i see it as collecting art no doubt 100 percent. it is kind of, it is art i, I would i would agree yeah i, I yeah <laughs> max man says i need to start collecting money that'd be yeah, um, that'd be good be nice yeah so this is a the big discussion that you know people have in the community yeah but i'd rather know that the bill is already paid when i get that shipping email yeah i get it i get it i, I get you. both i get both sides me too um figure craft stuff is nice i guess they fell behind shipping being so many orders since they have, have it already in stock it says it will ship monday Oh yeah. So like, I know it was like everyone that ordered, it says shipping today cause it's in stock, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gets pushed. I'm not really too worried about it. Um, but yeah, looks, it's uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll probably do a review on it. Uh, he's talking about the Umbra arc, uh, operative arc trooper. Uh, let's see. Late bloomer says, I wish sideshow gave us better ways to pay off instead of a traditional payment plan. Sometimes I want to pay more than I'm allowed to. I think what you can do yeah gift cards gift cards yeah you uh x-men says you can pay more and then yeah i was told gift cards work yeah i'm pretty sure you can buy gift cards so like if you're trying to pay off stuff on sideshow like you can buy a sideshow gift card and you can then take that gift card money and put it towards whatever pre-order you have even if you're on a payment plan i've heard that that's a thing i'm pretty sure And there's time there's times also where you can like with bane or whatever um i had initially had it on like a like i was thinking about doing a payment plan but i had already put like a gift card towards it and then there's a thing where it says like pay remaining balance or whatever so like sometimes if you pay off enough i know that's probably what bloomer's talking about is like he probably wanted to like not pay off the whole rest of the balance but yeah. more than like his payment plan option so, so you say gift how, cards work with that yeah i think you can like okay. an x-men saying like you can pay more i do it all the time maybe he can elaborate on how you do it but yeah i think well like i said you can like you can put you can like buy a gift card and put it on there and i think then you can just use that to like put mo put that money towards whatever your pre-orders are i've never done oh, that okay. so don't take this for like 100 percent certainty but i've heard uh discussions about that um uh, excellent says you can just go in and select to pay the next month's payment oh there you go but what if it's not what if you don't have a payment plan x-man do you know like if, if i just had the if all i have is the uh down payment on its sideshow that's a good question can, can i go in there and like pay it off you know 100 bucks here 100 bucks there do you know that i think that is where you could use the gift card maybe good question okay. good question but can you yeah, do that I, with ray uh steve can you do you that can like pay, if you yeah just, yeah so okay. underground has pay as you please so you can really pay however you want whenever you want for whatever so nice. he's really flexible yeah like if you if you like you can basically yeah like i said pay as you please if you want to do like 50 bucks over the course of a certain amount of months you can do that it's however however you want to do it he'll um, just send yeah. you an invoice i guess like if you say hey i want to put that's 100 bucks towards this one yeah that's I'll a good ask, question i'll, I'll email because yeah. i wanted to do that with a few yeah yeah if you want to if you want to do something like that yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah i personally i yeah, everybody already knows how I do it. I don't put any money down or I try to spend the least amount of money until that figure is in stock, ready to ship to me. You know what I mean? But just also being aware and being ready for when something actually is going to be dropping, you know? Um, there you go. X-Men says, if you go into your order, you can change it to a payment plan. Oh, okay. So you have to change it to gotcha. a payment plan. Okay. Um, I see. There you go. 
Thank you. So yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, man. Um, I want to get to anything else pre-order wise. You want to you want to mention talk about? I have more, man. But go ahead. Do we really? I mean, do we need to? Do I need to? Yeah, okay. You don't have um, to. It's up to you. I oh, just Brad's feel... got to bounce. Got to bounce, guys. Yeah. Great stream. All right, Brad. Appreciate you, Brad. Sneaker. Yeah, thank you, Brad. Thank you so much for tuning in, bro. Did I tell you? Uh, I, I sound like I'm plugging these videos. I, I apologize if this is what it sounds like, but I, I, I was doing a video where I was comparing which Iron Man that's coming out, which one I wanted to get. I finally pre-ordered one of the two, and I think it's the only one I'm going to pre-order. I don't think I'm going to get the. Is that the um, suit up in the? Yeah, there? I I yeah. pre-ordered the suit up. And yeah. I think that's the one I'm going to stick with as hard as it's going to be not to get the gantry. I just can't, I already have the Mark three and this will be my second Iron Man. I can't go down that path, man. I can't go down the path of getting all these Iron Men. And so, uh, that's the one that I forgot to mention was the, uh, the suit up. I finally was able to find a pre-order on it. And so I pre-ordered that one. So I'm really excited about that. Like that's like my favorite MCU movie is the Congrats. Avengers. So yeah, man. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. It's a cool, really cool scene, obviously. Really yeah. dope scene. Um, I mean, Dyson says, I paid off Toby and I'm waiting two months since I did. See, that's yeah, the yeah. thing I think Steve is talking about when he has it paid off. Like when he's got all of his money in it, I, correct me if I'm mercy, but you want that in your hands. Like you don't want your I money. I mean, I want it in anything. my hands or in my bank. You know what I exactly. mean? Like yeah. it's just, and also this is another thing is like, so like say like this Umbra Trooper is kind of like a good example of say that money is tied up and you're waiting for it for like a few months but like this trooper drops and you want it it's announced and you want to get it right now and you want to use that money for it it's not available you know what i mean so that's why i don't like yeah. having my money tied up because stuff like this like i bought that trooper because like, like it's a surprise now. drop yeah yeah surprise drop is what i wanted so i like to be able to just have my money available in case not just figures but in case anything else comes up you know what i mean yeah. like you can always and, and I know too, you can cancel and like get your money back and lose your NRD and that stuff too. But there's just, and this is not financial advice, but there's just other ways also like where I, you can like take that money and put it into your, you know, your bank and you can save it. You could do like, um, you know, we talked about this on Wolfpack Wednesdays, like D'Lo likes to put it into like on his PayPal account. Like he'll say, oh, I'm taking X amount of money and putting it into my PayPal account and dumping it in there. Um, like to use as like PayPal cash that he yeah. only uses for figures. Um, but yeah, you can do like different types of savings accounts if you wanna like, you could take money that you have and dump it into like a, you know, these different types of savings accounts and let it build interest over the course of like a year if you're waiting for a few figures, you know what I mean? So again, PayPal, not financial that PayPal advice, thing but. is a fan, that I do that as well. Like if I have money in PayPal, I ju I'll just put, I'll just have money in PayPal and then that way when it's ready, cause I, I normally will use PayPal for my orders anyway. So when that time comes, it's like, oh, I forgot I had this in there. Cause I've been putting, you know, when I have, you know, so it's nice when you get in there and like, you could just pay it all off with your PayPal balance that you already have that you kind of are already used to not having it. Like it's still your money, but you're not feeling it's already gone from your checking. So like, yeah, you you're already kind of living without it. Yeah. So. Yeah, your mind just separates it, right? Right. You, just, you can kind of act like you don't have it in a way or like, yeah. Yep. Or I should say you can, yeah, you just, you don't need to worry about it. Yep. Yep. It's a yep. weird feeling that that's a thing, right? When we separate stuff out. Exactly. Um, Bigger Craft says, man, Sideshow did me dirty after three weeks of being preparing for shipment. They switched my Battenson for ships today. Dude. Then to find out later today, I got switched back to preparing for ship. Damn. What is going on with that figure, man? Damn yeah it's like i saw like i said earlier before uh figure craft before you're here like somebody got an email like who's on i think on a payment plan but said like got delayed their their batman got delayed like pushed to april it was just crazy that figure is just taking forever x-men said that's true i just got word from Rand the deluxe scarlet witch and i had to cancel my sideshow order and get that money returned to my account but also there's time for that to come back so it works yeah and i think i want to say deluxe scarlet witch may have been delayed so you'll probably get your nrd back I pre-ordered um, it through through Ray, and I, I I'm almost thinking it got delayed too, Steve, because like I haven't, I yeah. kind of thought that at least people that ordered through Sideshow might have already started getting it, but I didn't yeah. notice. That idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it got delayed. Um, let's see, MB Dyson says I paid it off after release to get it faster, but then it was delayed. I better get batch two. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's another thing is like, yeah, you pay if you're on a payment plan, you can. That's a nice thing about payment plans, too. If a figure comes out and you want to you have still a couple months left, like you can pay on it and still get the figure sent to you later. You know what I mean? So that's a nice option. If like you really don't worry, you're not worried about getting it quickly then you can kind of like just do a payment plan out of ways. You know what I mean? Because that's nice because then that's a little bit of a different story. I feel like when you know a figure's in stock and then you know, hey, when I pay this off, I'm getting it but you have like two or three months to do that before you get it. That's really, that's a nice option. You know I think that I mean? makes it, I think that's easier to do that than it is to pre-order a figure and then have what figure crafts talking about. Like he's got this thing paid off and it's like, Oh, by the way, it's going to be another month. You yeah. Know, it it's going to be another two months. Sucks, yeah. Sucks. Yep. Um, yeah. X-Men says she was delayed. So she's getting it already back. Okay. Thanks. So you got it from uh, he got deluxe Scarlet Witch. He must've reached out. He must've reached out to Raid and, uh, and got that one um let's see here oh yeah x-men also says i've heard some horror stories about paypal canceling accounts for weird reasons or holding people's money yeah it's yeah not saying it's a normal thing but i can't trust them with my cash i would say you're probably i don't think i've ever heard of anybody having that issue if you're just taking money and putting it into your own paypal account a lot of the times when they hold people's money is if like say i sold x-man a figure he sends me the money. Sometimes PayPal will be like, we're holding this money until your shipment is delayed or until your shipment is delivered. And then they'll send your money. Sometimes that's like when the transaction amount is really high though. Or like you have, you're a short-term PayPal user. So say like you just made an account and you just started using it and they don't really like for sure know if you're legit, they'll hold it until it's for sure confirmed legitimate. That's where you have to upload your tracking number and stuff like this. It's just like protection on their end, but it's, it's pretty rare for like, I don't think if you sent money into your own PayPal account or like use it as like a PayPal wallet, you're going to get having, you're not going to run into issues like that. Um, yeah. And PayPal is pretty good about that. It's actually interesting because I opened up a PayPal account for when I used to stream video games. Um, I opened up a separate PayPal account for some of like the monetization stuff that I was getting on Twitch. And like, yeah, they shut down my, my PayPal account randomly. But then when I called them, they said like, it was just like, they did something weird on their end or something. So like, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. Um, I get where you're coming from though. X man. Like I, yeah. like that's got, you know, with electronic anything. You yeah. Know, banks, another thing, whatever, another thing, if you don't like PayPal holding your money, you can also just like keep it in your, you can also just, you know, just keep it in your bank. <laughs> like just save it, just save it, <laughs> just save it. It's funny we talk about all this stuff and then another, and you know, and I know like some people are like, well, if I'm looking at it and I have it, I'm probably going to spend it. Well, like just save it. <laughs> it's easier said yeah. than done. Yeah. Um, I want to talk real quick because I put up a, uh, uh, every week. So just so you guys know who are still listening. Um, still got 22 in the house and we've been going for two and I and love half it, hours. man. Thank y'all for still um, being here. Yes. Man. Yes. Awesome. Pre appreciate it. If you're, uh, if you're a channel member, I'm doing on my YouTube um, like on my community post or like for posts, I do a channel members, uh, weekly Q and a post that I just started doing. So every time I do a, a stream, whatever, during the week, like this show, if I, if I do one next week too, I'll post a members only Q and a segment. So if you're a channel member, you can send your questions. You can just post it right onto the, um, onto the members only. And I'll pick a few to read Justin. You cool. If we go through a couple. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, before I get to it, X-Men says, I also don't use PayPal for overseas purchases anymore since they like to jack up the prices and claim conversion rate. I paid 30 more for an order from Australia because PayPal said the rate was higher. Yeah, I usually use WISE. W-I-S-E is what I use if I do anything overseas. It's a better rate, conversion rate. Yeah, PayPal gets you real bad on conversion rates. I learned my lesson on that one too in the past. Um, do we have a poll going? We did. Let's end the poll. 19 votes. How many figures do you have pre-ordered? Six to 10 pre-orders at 31%, 15 plus at 26%, one to five at 21%, 11 to 15 at 20%. Pretty, almost like pretty even. Yeah, that's a good the balance board. there. Yep, yep. Good balance. So uh, as far as this channel members Q&A goes, so I got a few questions in here. Um, usually I type them out. I didn't have time today, but Figurecraft asked, what female character would you like Hot Toys to make and why? You got this one? You want to? I, I don't know who that. I don't know if they've made made it. or I mean, again, just off the top of my head, I would love another Trinity. I, I don't know if Hot, has Hot Toys made Matrix figures. Uh, they made Neo. 
Okay, I would love a Trinity from the Matrix. Yeah, and they yes, not Carrie Ann Moss is fresh on my mind because of the Acolyte, of the Acolyte trailer, but I would love that figure just off the top of my head. What one? Oh, Carrie Ann Moss from Acolyte? No, no, I'm saying that that's fresh on my mind. Oh, so the oh gotcha, first gotcha, thing that gotcha, came gotcha, to my mind gotcha. was Trinity. Okay. Yeah, from yeah, Matrix. Gotcha. Man, I don't even know. I don't know who I would want. Oh, Furiosa from Mad Max would be up there as well. And again, that's fresh on my mind too because I just saw. And that. that could happen. That could potentially happen if they were to get the IP with this uh, with this movie coming out. I would. Um, that'd be day Mad one. Max is one of my favorite. I actually, watch it in my basement theater. But Mad Max is one of my favorite um, favorite theater experiences. Just so good. Um, that movie was. That movie's X-Men amazing, Kamala, man. Kamala Khan. <laughs> X Men really wants the uh, uh, Miss Marvel. <laughs> Christian Cooper says he wants a Ripley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That um, would be, yes. Be amazing. I'm trying to think. Oh, man. I don't know, man. There's so many. Um, okay, X Man, while you're thinking, I'm going to read the chat. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Magic from the New Mutants. I'll be honest with you, X Man. You got me wanting to rewatch the New Mutants. I didn't give that a fair shake the first time. I kind of just watched clips on YouTube. I need to watch that. Is that good? I've heard that it's not, but I'll I trust your opinion. So let me know. But I would like that character too. I'm trying to think. Like, I'm gonna have to come back to this. I don't really know. Why don't you think on it, Steve? Go to the next one and then come back to it. Yeah. Okay. I'll think on it. Um, there, there's a lot. I, f- I feel like once you think of a couple, you're gonna be able to rattle yeah, off yeah. like a few yeah. yeah uh uh the one adam 12 writes in and says do you think hot toys will make more alien star wars characters like admiral akbar uh admiral akbar greedo or bosk i do i personally do think they will make some more i'll agree just because yeah, i don't I do. know yep I hope so. That's kind of, that's why I'm really looking forward to that Hera figure from uh, the Ahsoka line. I, I just think like, yep. I just think that one's going to look so like, that's really going to stand out. I feel like, like that's going to be a nice, that's going to look great. I mean, uh, every figure from that line look, that looks great, but I feel like if I, I'm going back to this, I, I do think so. I do think we're going to get more alien figures at some point. Like they've got to go and try to do those at some point. Um, what, let's do this, Steve. What what is there an actress that you really like, like that you're is one of your favorite actresses that you could think of, like, you know, because uh, the reason I'm asking that is because Jose, you know, he said Marissa Tomei, Aunt May. He said, you know, Anya, Anya Taylor Joy, Magic would be, you know, again, Anya Taylor Joy. Like, like, there's a few characters that I'd like, you know. I kind of think about video games too. Like, a Laura Croft would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Like a Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider Laura Croft, I feel like, is one that come like, you know, that was, that was thinking about female characters. Um, yeah, like, you mentioned, like, Furiosa, like, Charlize Theron is, uh, like, she's, it would just be a really cool figure. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. I would say Mad Max would be would be uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I would probably go with those. That's tough. I think of, like, I think of, like, uh, non-human characters, too, like, I think of like uh, like Ayla Sakura and um, you know from Star Wars. Like I think of like these other Jedi and stuff too. And Twilight from Star Wars that would be really really cool to get. Um, Who's the character yeah. Steve off Mandalorian? I know they haven't made a figure, and uh, I can't. Re- I know the actress who plays it. I think it's that Amy Sedaris. Uh, but she, you know she's the mechanic. Um, oh yeah, you're talking about uh, uh, Peli Mato. I would love that figure. Yeah, man. I really would. Like, she's such a good character. Yep. I don't know why I remembered her name, but that's her name. Is very <laughs> know, that's, unique. A, that's incredible, man. <laughs> like, like oh, I just this. typed it. I just typed it in. I'm like, yeah, I got that. I got that one right. I didn't. Uh, yep. Yep. But yeah, Peli Mato. Yeah. Yeah. She's. Uh, it's funny. One of my friends like absolutely hates her character in The Mandalorian. The episode comes on. And he's just like, not again. It's it's, it's hilarious. But I don't know, man. Um, I, I I like her. I th- I feel like she adds like a cool. I don't know. I I personally. Yeah, I thought like she. Her. I think she adds a cool element. Thought it was fun. Yeah. Um, that's a good question though. Who asked that? Was that Figure Craft? Uh, yep. What female that's character? That's a good would you question. Like yep. Yep. Um. Crivis eleven thirty eight. 
What's up, man? Thank you so much for tuning into the show. A new name here, Leia Bouchalf. It would be awesome. I agree. I agree. I don't know if it's, I just wonder, like, I feel like people go back and forth and say Leia, like Bosch Leia or Bush Leia, but either one. I agree. That would be a really, really cool, uh, really, really cool figure. Oh, this is, this is a good one. Yeah. Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. Okoye would be really cool. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer, Catwoman. That's a big, that's a big, uh, a big ask that a lot of people want. Um, also, I should have said this. Selena Kyle, yeah, like the Batman is one that I would love to see. Um, like from the Batman. Um, that's one that I I really I just I really wish we uh we could uh you know get more of the Batman figures. But hey, you know what? Maybe with the penguin coming out, uh maybe we all say. the maybe they all of a sudden with the penguin coming out, like they backtrack on the Batman and start dropping like yeah, Selena Kyle, and they dro drop the penguin. If we get a penguin figure, that would be dope. I that would be great. great. And I feel like Colin Farrell be being choice. playing the character. I feel yeah, like there's man. a chance. You know, get him, get him, this man, get that figure. Yeah. Um, actually, says I don't think that slave play would be such a bad figure to make. Yeah, Disney will just never allow it to happen at this point. Uh, Jose says, yeah, jo uh, Jolie Tomb Raider would be dope. I would even take a. a Alicia Vikander one. Yeah, I, I uh I think that would be really cool in a Tomb Raider. She Venom from the Venom movies. <laughs> I wish I'd go back to the 66 line and make all the Catwoman Batgirl. Zoe Kravitz Catwoman. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying, man. Um yeah, she would be really cool. And I feel like she'd be a yeah, with like the short hair and like she would just be a really cool uh like her outfit and stuff yeah they they uh, like had her character you know looking really good in the in the movie so i'm excited about the bat or the penguin did you check out the teaser yeah it looks yeah good. dude i'm excited for that show which is going to take place between the one and two like it's going to bridge yeah we're getting it man it's like i swear we're spoiled with shows like we are we're getting man. the we got the batman and then what happens is like the batman 2 delayed to 2026 this uh, and then we're, everyone's like god damn it i was like this is ridiculous we're all now we have to wait until now we have to wait all this time for the movie like it's gonna suck i was kind of like oh i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna be patient because this movie's gonna be a banger if they're waiting now oh it's gonna be they are gonna make this movie so good but then i kind of forgot about the penguin like it was in the back of my mind and then they dropped this teaser all of a sudden today and i'm watching it and i'm like damn this is like literally watching like a continuation of the batman movie and um that's what I, I want to see really them do hyped. more with. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want to see them do more with, like, shows, you know, is, like, if they're going to branch off and do that, like, I still like how it's connected. It's probably going to play out almost like a mini series in a way to where, yeah, you probably need to watch the Batman, but it's probably going to be enough standalone to where as long as you're familiar with the character of the Penguin in any capacity, I think you should be fine. I mean, he didn't have a huge, like, he had a great presence in the movie, but he, he was on screen for maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, so you I just I, don't I, go watch the movie because it's best. Yeah, well, it's 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 pretty good. You were okay. You were like, yeah. How high are you on the Batman? Um, I'm not as high on it as you. That's for sure. Um, I think it's I I think it's okay. I didn't love it. You need to go rewatch it. I think I do. I mean, it it is interesting how when you take the uh, anticipation out, you know, but. Say something again. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you. Hold on, say something again. Hello? Okay, I can hear you. I saw it's you muted your... me. I was like, I guess you really don't like my opinion on the Batman. It said I muted you, but but you I could still hear you, so that's why I was asking you. But I was, oh, okay, doing okay. It, I was doing it as a joke, but I could still fully hear you. Oh, I see. Okay. I was wondering <laughs> what was work. going on. It didn't work. Yeah, dude. No, but uh I'm, I'm gonna rewatch it. I'm just messing it. with you. I... I think it's beautiful. The film itself is beautiful. I have to remove myself from Nolan's trilogy. I think that was my big mistake going into it, to be honest with you. Like, it's a totally different thing. And that was my fault kind of going into it with that. But I don't know. I'm gonna, The Penguin looks great, though. I'm excited for them to explore that character. I think Colin Farrell, like, killed it in that role. Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. I'm really excited for the show. It's going to be nice, too, because, like, like I said, you have the movie and then this show also it's on max which means it's going to be high quality like if you get a if you have a show on on hbo max or now called max i guess um 
like it's gonna be quality their their shows are usually quality if it's a max original you know you think of like game of thrones and stuff like it's gonna be a quality show they're gonna have a budget um, yeah. or a good budget uh so i'm excited it's like we're gonna get we're getting a batman 1.5 um and I'll tell you what world I'll, building leading into number two yeah go ahead i'll tell you what i'll do steve i'll rewatch Damn the right. batman i'll rewatch the batman you gotta watch avatar way of water that's just such a long movie well the batman is too kind of <laughs> yeah the batman i think it's like two hours and 45 minutes for, you don't have to yeah. watch that but i do want you to watch it because i think you might want to get the figures afterwards so i'm trying to talk you into getting those figures i'm not getting those figures okay i like the yeah. first movie and i'll probably will enjoy the second movie fine but i'm not getting any avatar figures we'll see <laughs> don't try it <laughs> you got black adam bro so we'll see no we'll that's, see what it, happens. that's it i just wanted the rock <laughs> <laughs> Graham says, you guys are still going. Yes. Yes, we are. Friday night, baby. Friday night, yep. Graham. Jose, Jose says, from a recent interview with Viper from NR, they said that Hathaway Catwoman is definitely happening at some point. Key words here, at some point. <laughs> at some point. Another which means, Catwoman? Who knows when this is going to happen, but I think it'd be cool. If NR can speed up, it, they're gonna. it's going to, man, it's going to complicate things because I think of how many Hot Toys orders I have. Is, if NR speeds up, and like you know like obviously right now we're not getting a ton of figures from them because they're just starting out but if they start like if they start like putting out you know a couple pre-orders a month at some point or something like that ooh, man that's gonna be tough it's gonna be real tough i'm with jose g hernandez uh we don't have to skip over x-men says very mute worthy opinion yeah I, I get it man i get it I'm, <laughs> i get it what about some scream queens i would love i've been yeah, saying this for a while monkeys. jose i would love to get some horror figures of where it's not just the killer. Like I want Sidney Prescott. I want Matthew That'd Lillard cool. from that movie. I want Jamie Kennedy. I want like, I would collect all of those. I know it's not going to happen, but I, I am totally with you on that dude. Yeah. That'd be cool. Well, my phone turned on. Do not disturb. Cause it thinks I'm in bed. It's like, you're up you, pretty late. Usually by this time, usually by this. Exactly. Shoot about this time I'm sleeping. <laughs> Graham's telling me don't be a hypocrite. What are you talking about? I'll watch Avatar at some point. Um, Figurecraft had another question. Dynamic or museum pose? Depends on the character for me. Yeah, I think me too. I, I lean more towards just in general museum pose though. And if I go dynamic, I don't go real dynamic. I go like semi-dynamic. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. It's like my Kylo. Like, I love just having him in that. It's almost a museum pose for the most part. I don't, like, yeah. you know, I just like the present. He, he's like a tall figure and stuff. But my Iron Man, I like to have my Iron Man in a uh, dynamic pose for the most part. I always put my Iron Man usually in dynamic poses as well. That's the one yeah. figure doing something yeah, cool. Man. Yeah. Uh, Other question. Another one from Figurecraft. What next, what next X-Men character would you like to be made by Hano? Great question. Man, these are some good questions, Steve. This is the last one. Thank you, channel members, for great questions. Justin applauds you. I, I'll go first. Oh, Psylocke is great. That's a good one, X-Man. Dang. I won't take X-Mans, but that's a great one. I would probably say for me, if they're going to continue with this comic stuff, I would probably say for me, I would... Man, I really would like to have a, uh, I don't know. I feel like you got to have Professor X, man. I don't know. With that Magneto, I kind of want a Professor X. I wouldn't mind seeing a legit Cyclops. I feel like Cyclops is like, has still yet to be utilized correctly in a lot of live action. You said Cyclops? Um, yes. Yeah, I would like to see Cyclops. What about Beast? Oh, yeah. Beast would be sweet. That'd be a dope figure for them to do if they could pull yeah. it off. As a yeah. as like a kind of like budget one, an apocalypse. Yeah. I'd love to see an apocalypse. Like that'd be crazy if they could scale that correctly. That would be awesome. I still need to watch this this uh, show, the new one. Yeah, I haven't watched it either yet. I, I, I'm going to watch it this weekend. I think I'm going to watch a I've, recap on the OGs first. Like a need yeah. to know recap. I found one on YouTube that's like an hour long. That's like the need to knows. Rather than going through like, you know, I can't go through the whole thing. I don't have time. So 
Well, you, you're not going to have time this weekend because you're going to be watching that Avatar Way of Water. <laughs> <laughs> if I get done with this stream tonight and I go over on this couch over here, I have this, this the couch that I have is like this huge modular section. It's like, it's a U-shaped, but it has an ottoman in the middle. So it's basically like a little bit wider than a California king bed. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you sit down on that, and it's all completely dark because my walls are all black and then all you get the light is the only light you get is from the theater screen like dude, you will pass out so fast oh, yeah i can <laughs> like i can see yeah i was just saying it took me like because because i think i told you i get up at like 4 45 usually right. during the week so like i'll like bad batch it's funny like i think the 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 maybe the because the first three episodes came out whatever one was a single episode it took me like three nights to finish it Cause like I would come down here and I would just sit on the couch. I'd pass out immediately trying to watch it. I'll turn it on and just pass out. So comfortable. Yeah, dude. Oh, it's good times. Anyways, avatar. Yeah. So sitting down here at night for three hours, that's going to be a, no, there's no way you, you, you have to, you have to go into that with a, uh, I ain't going to make it. Yeah, dude, definitely not tonight. I'll probably have to watch it on a week, like on a week night or not on a week night on a weekend during the day. Yeah. 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 Do you see any appeal for? I know you're just probably not a huge fan, but like, what do you think about those figures? Like, do you think those are going to turn out pretty good? Do you think they're kind of like? What do you think? Just from I, I want to get your opinion, just because I think they look they're going to look great. But um, I think they look cool. I, I mean, I think it's yeah. really awesome anytime you get figures like that look unique like that. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm -hmm. It's non like I'm all about the non-human, you know, like non-human style characters. Um, and I really like the bases with these deluxes. I don't know if oh, you've yeah. seen them, but like they're yeah. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I'm all for I'm all for that. I think it's really cool. Again, it's like they're they're unique pieces for your collection, and I don't think like a ton of people are gonna have those. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's what I'll say about that. Yep. Yeah, man. Yep. Uh, X Men says I think Hano could not Colossus out of the park. Jose got the third party Fastbender Magneto. Michael Fassbender, Magneto would be cool. I agree. Are you are you in on that line, Hono? Are you getting any of those, Steve? I know I'm asking of, you a lot of questions, man. As of I right just... now, I no, it's good. I like I like answering questions, talking about figures, and just yeah, kind of shooting the shit. But um, as of now, no. But I bet after I watch X Men '97, I'm probably gonna That's, want them. I was just about to say that. I was like, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I know they. I know that x-man uh collects the mondo ones do you, you you don't have any interest in stuff like that do you like the animated nope. series stuff no nope. okay and it's this the price point on these are so good that's the um, thing yeah and then i look and then if you look at and this is where it's kind of this is where it's so underground wolverine 154.99 and you don't have to pay tax so you're looking at like once you're looking at probably 170 or shipped yeah dude like that's yeah magneto's 167 but like that's where that line is dangerous man dangerous. the wolverine looked cool i mean i like wolverine the character like i love wolverine the character but like the magneto i thought looked really good like i just think that that like i magneto's you know cool. again i'm nostalgic for the uh animated series the comics the even the game the uh, arcade game i just love the look of the that stuff so that's i don't know i haven't pre like i actually haven't pre-ordered either of them but it's hard to ignore that price point man but i just there's so much stuff i'm collecting i'm still on the fence if i'm gonna kind of wait to see how they turn out in hand before i order it or what so yeah yeah not a bad idea i'm i just clicked on underground i clicked on the star wars section and i'm bad looking idea. at i'm looking at what's what's on here and what's available I saw they had the third sister on there um, as well. I, I didn't see that one before, yeah. and, and he yeah, has one of those in well. stock. Yeah. 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 You getting the Inquisitors? Um, I don't have Reva yet, but I have Grand Inquisitor. How's that figure? He's cool. He's right down here. Right here. You probably oh, okay. can't see him very well, but he's right here. I, see, I his, see a little bit. Trooper. Um, yeah. What do I? Uh, what do I think of the Grand Inquisitor? He's a cool figure. It'd be nice if he had rolling eyeballs, but he's like got a bald head, so I don't know if that's why they didn't do it. But um, cool figure. The armor is kind of annoying. Like when you raise his arms up, his shoulder pads like to pop off Velcro. But also it's nice because they're Velcro, because if you want to get his arms up pretty high, then you can adjust the position of it nicely. Um, 
But he's a cool figure. I mean, it looks just like the guy from the show. You know, just yeah, the, the head the, sculpts are great on those. Yeah, the head sculpts look good. The, the figure's cool. I, I'm never going to use a light up feature on his chest. Um, yeah. I, I probably won't use that. Um, if they don't release the other two Inquisitors, because the other two are the ones I would really want anyway, um, I'm fine with just having Obi Wan and Vader from that. I, I think that would be I would agree. okay with me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed that they didn't announce the other two. Um, yeah, dude, that's. Yeah. And, but then I'd want them all. The but then I'd get Reva. Then I'd get Reva. That's Reva's the thing. Fig, the fi Reva's figure is actually really good. Like it looks yes. great. It looks great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. Ooh, Amby Dice says if X Men does well, maybe they'll bring back Spidey animated I series too. I hope not, because I'd get a lot buddy. of those, man. I'd get a lot. Well, I actually do hope that, but I that do think they'll end fun. up doing like an animated Green Goblin or something. I do yeah. think that's going to end up happening. Man, that would be that comic Spidey's dope. The one that came out with I have that figure. The bane of my collecting existence is that figure. Goodness gracious. I know you've had trouble with it. I, I will eventually get that one. I really like the look of that one. I love the different uh I just yeah, that figure. Yeah, I got a body great. I got a body for sale if you want it. <laughs> just the body yeah. with the eyes. Just and the, the body. Fists. Yeah. If anybody wants a comic that. Spidey exclusive, just the body with the fists and the eyes, it's it's like you can still use it. You just have to get yourself some hands, and you could do uh, use it for something else if you wanted to. But five hundred um, yep. shipped, friends and family only. PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, man. Good. Uh, well, we've been going for three hours. We should probably we should probably cut we should probably cut it off. I just want to say though, twenty eight in the chat. And we'd be, yeah, I, we be, I truly, going. I truly appreciate every single person that's yeah. in here, man. Like for real, like that's, that's awesome, dude. It's been so much fun talking with you guys. Yep. Yep. Chat's always lively. Chat, chat keeps the show going 100%. Oh. Um, we lose Steve. What? Uh oh. I can't see you now. All right, see if you're back. I lost you for a second. I think you went away. You did. You went oh. away on the stream. Oh, I did. I was just talking to myself. I was telling people, I was like, I feel like Garth from Wayne's World when he gets, he's not used to hosting the show without Wayne and like he. Did I look like I was frozen? I'm not really frozen. <laughs> Graham says, just keep going. <laughs> Fuck it. Dude, you almost had me on that one. I was going to be like, Let's hello? Let's go. X Men Supreme, LOL. Where you? Where you? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Tighter fell. Oh, what's up, Tighter? Says God on YouTube is like, damn, sneakers still going. We got it. We might as well just hit the three hour mark at this point. Let's hit. Let's hit three hours, hours, man. Just so we can prove to ourselves that we have the stamina. We got. We got four. We got four more. Uh, <laughs> why? Why you figure? Why? Why Gamora? Or what? Forget what the you line, figure? But... <laughs> we got under four minutes. We can. Uh, um yeah jose says mondo's tackling the 90s spider-man line it's definitely going to be tempting i'm glad i'm not into mondo figures yeah i love the I, I i got with the posters but the the figures i just know i gotta i gotta draw a line somewhere man i really yeah do. that crate their kratos figure from god of war is badass man yeah yeah yep um what else what else we got chat trying to get to that three hour mark when we get there let's type three hours into no i'm kidding i know people do that to like hashtag three hour stream hashtag three hours baby <laughs> um what else can i we're gonna what else can i showcase on here i got nothing i got nothing else that was the whole show that show went way longer than uh than anticipated but that happened to us last time too. Why? Uh, that's why I asked you before the show. Do we have a time limit? <laughs> we will sit in silence until the three hour mark. Graham, um, what what are you doing, Graham? What are you? Did I know? Let's I saw Louisa shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tauntaun has to be coming. I hope a Tauntaun happens. I would be all in. Did I tell you who I respect is this is uh, Christian Cooper man twenty wants a, wants a twenty four hour stream. I don't think my Epcot. I don't think my streaming sir my streaming service I think it only allows me to do six hours max. <laughs> I think that's it. 
Nice, Graham. Well, I need, I need to check out that video you posted today. I'll check it out after this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm going to do mine tomorrow. Edit my mono video tomorrow. Talk about it. Um. Yeah, at some point, I do want to do a really long stream. I want to do like a long either charity stream or something. Like, you know, if you do super chats, you donate it. Like, I want to donate it to charity. I think that'd be really fun to do something. Uh, something like that. Where Realistically, the, how, how long do you think you would be able to go on a stream like that without a break? Like without what type of break? Just you'd have like what we're doing now, like just straight through. Like, could I go to the bathroom if I needed to? Absolutely. <laughs> a while, man. I could stream for, yeah. I'd have to get up to stretch a bit. I'd have to get up to stretch a bit. You know, the old. I could do you know, like with some with some like BRBs. Yeah, I could. Like, if I had, if I could, like, if I just had to like get up and go to the bathroom and like I could eat on stream and stuff like that. Not really at the oh dude, I don't know ten hours. I think I could do ten. I could just keep going. Let's train. Let's train for that ten hour stream one day. Graham, you in? <laughs> ten hours. I'll have to do. I'll have to do. I'll have to do one. Um, oh, let's do a twenty four hour stream covering hot toys from the beginning until now. I don't know if that would take necessarily twenty four hours. <laughs> we should rank every. We should rank every hot toys figure ever released. That will take over ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> Six hour stream says Jose, do a Mr. B style, and Graham says no. <laughs> Plus, I'm, Plus, I'm in talks. <laughs> no, I don't think you're making it that long if you're intoxicated. No way, no way. Out of, last um, last question for me, Steve. Out of the Wolfpack Wednesday crew, who would if there was like a survival of the fittest stream, where like only one man left standing? I know you're gonna say you would be the last one standing, but who would be the first one out? Would it be Graham? That's a tough question, man. I don't know. I feel like it could pretend well, like the one thing with D Lo is like he's on the east he's Eastern time. So like he's late he's yeah. up later than us. You know what I mean? Like that's tough. Good point. That's tough. Graham says brick. I would probably maybe brick. I don't know why he's saying brick, but maybe it's brick. Maybe he can elaborate. Um also I love this. Like I might on my streaming software it just says stream ends in three two one like it was gonna shut down <laughs> um d -Lo would be the first out he wouldn't want to do that shit d -Lo because of eastern time figure up oh, figure craft is out i'm out guys good good stream and i've decided to move something in my setup and you know when i'm moving something you move 20 things and it takes forever wish me luck dude good, good luck, luck buddy. if you're moving something bro oh, damn, thank you for be able, being here be man and for all the yeah, great appreciate, questions man. appreciate uh you being here yeah thank you so much for uh the channel member chats and q a on uh, my youtube post man thank you those are good questions and i uh, appreciate you being a uh a channel member join the evil empire <laughs> gotta go watch Mad uh, madam web for the third time <laughs> my gosh uh, that, now that's a, now that's a stream when that comes out on is that on home video yet like a uh, demand home video i sound so old uh home video like is that can you rent that at the yeah, store i don't know no. when streaming is coming for that just watching that 24 hours straight uh steve no <laughs> i'd rather watch that than uh yeah no, I couldn't. Do Miami's it. <laughs> Miami's Nemesis says watch prequel, tri watch the Star Wars prequel tri trilogy and review it while watching the movie. Fast ten hours plus, right there. That'd be fun, man. Dude, I'm shocked how many people want to see this. Well, they want to see because they can take a break anytime they want. They want to see. They want to see us push our bodies and our minds to the limits, man. <laughs> just see. <laughs> yep. Just see Ma what happens. <laughs> Madam Web straight to VHS. <laughs> Uh, Jose says it's already available for video on demand, but is it free or included in any streaming software? Like, is that, does, does, uh, cause Sony is usually kind of picky about where they put their stuff. Like, what is it on? I know you can if get you it can on get Prime. It included. Is on it Prime included? Video. You got to pay for it. No, you got to, Graham says you got to pay $20 for it. Oh, hell no. That's how they'll do it on Prime. They'll like release it before I they hate that. Yeah. Freaking like hate you'll that. get it. They'll have like a month window where you can, you, ha you can't even rent it. You have to buy it. I'm not paying that. Yeah. Make a Madam Web. Jose says, just make a Madam Web figure. Madam Web can be put in the trash. Okay. <laughs> I want a Sydney Sweeney <laughs> Spider Woman. It would be a dope figure. Yeah, it'd be a cool figure. Uh, ooh, Christian says, favorite Bad Batch figure, Steve. Hmm. I'm going to answer this while you're thinking. I don't have one yet, but the one that I am really wanting, even though I don't have one, would be Tech. I love the look of 
that character. Yeah, tech. So my favorite Bad Batch figure, even without having tech as a figure yet in hand, is tech. So if that if that answer is allowed, yeah, I'll say I'll say my favorite my favorite member of the Bad Batch is tech. I like I like his armor, the most. You know, aesthetically, I like I like how tech looks. I like his armor. Uh, yeah, his character is just really good. Um, Do you have so, all the Bad Batch, uh, of course, other than tech right now, Steve, or no? Yep. Four of the five okay. just waiting on tech to come out. Which one out of those four that you currently have do you do you like the best? Ooh, I would say it's probably really, really close between Crosshair and Wrecker. Yeah. Crosshair is just nice. a really cool. Yeah, Crosshair is really like they just nailed that figure. Uh Wrecker though, yeah. too. I mean the Wrecker head sculpt. I think Wrecker head sculpt is probably the best out of all of them. Um but yeah, I would say really close between Yeah, Wrecker and Crosshair. Hunter and Te Hunter and Echo are still really good figures, but they're all really good. They just all go so well together, obviously. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get Tech. That'll be uh, that'll be the best one. Steve, will me. you read this collection obsession? Because I I have a great answer for this. Collection obsession channel member says, "Are you going to see the original tr trilogy and prequels in theater during the May the Fourth weekend?" I thought about it because I saw. Uh oh, how you figure just got disconnected again. I thought about it. But I don't know because I know there's... Oh, you're back. Yeah, see, it on on mine, it keeps showing you leaving. It's so weird. On, Maybe the, stream the... It's show, on the stream, for some reason, it's showing you leaving. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's okay. Uh, either way, but um, am I going to see the original children prequels in theaters during the May the 4th weekend? So I know they're doing like a... They're doing a Skywalker Saga marathon, apparently. Yep. I... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go see any, I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to see Phantom Menace. I'm going to go see Phantom Menace in, in theater. Me too. Also, there's an exclusive look at the Acolyte apparently after, at the end of the movie, yep. if you watch it, but I mean, I'm that's with you. Be that's a, the one that's going to be I up would... on YouTube immediately. Yeah. But Phantom Menace is one I, I, I for sure going to go see. And then, uh, I'll probably try to see one from each trilogy. That, that might be my game plan is like one from each trilogy. My favorite from each one. I might literally just go sit in the theater and watch as much as I can before I have to leave. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, though. I would at least probably want to sit through, like, the original six I'd probably sit through. Um, It would be really hard to sit through nine total movies. Like, that's a long marathon. That's... Yes. That's a whole day. That's a whole day. Like, almost 24 hours. It's It might even yeah. be. Because the movies, if it's nine movies, two hours at nine movies, that's 18 hours. You're looking at 24 hours for, oh, all, for all nine true. of those movies. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you better just plan on sleeping and eating in the theater. Um, uh, Christian Cooper says, do you think, did you watch Bad Batch? No, but I already, you could talk about yeah, it. Yeah, pretty much everybody this. already knows because this isn't really, at this point, it's, it's yeah. far beyond that if you haven't watched it, but... You never say never when you see somebody fall into the into a cloud and you can't see what happened to him. Never say never. <laughs> I have some theories about, you know, like is he like in the new in the new season, like is he one of the characters in the new season and stuff. But I'm gonna leave I, you with a little can I leave you can I leave Graham with something, Steve, just because I know we're probably gonna wrap up soon. Sure can. Remember I told you I had a Star Wars story to tell you off like backstage oh, yeah, yeah. basically. You'd be proud of me, man. Okay. What's the one piece of Star Wars content that I tell you is like, I'm pretty knowledgeable, but this one piece I don't watch. I haven't watched. Do you remember? You told me there's something you didn't watch. Remember we always, when we're always talking about it, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I need to watch that series. Rebels. No, I watched it's Clone Wars. Clone Wars. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I could have just said it. I knew it was I'm watching, animated. I'm, I'm watching the rest of Clone Wars. I'm I'm picking up where I left off many many years ago. Where are you? What like how much have you watched? I am, I am trying to watch it chronologically. Like yeah, I watched. Okay. So you went online and looked it up. I'm trying to watch it by arc. Yeah, and so yeah, good, good. That's a good. Yeah, that's the way so to I'm do it. I'm doing that, but I am I'm getting there and I'm enjoying myself. So Graham, to your question, I will be watching the Bad Batch, but I'm glad I'm I'm re I'm watching this before that. There you I'm go. I'm, yeah, dude. I'm ex so I just wanted to let everybody know. Bad Batch is pretty great, soon. Man. I'll be Home getting Wars a Captain Rex. Too. I'll be getting a Captain Rex figure as well. I'll be I'll be joining. You'll be all Graham. in on the Ahsoka. You'll be all in on the Ahsoka line. 
<laughs> yep. Actually, yes. that's more that's more rebels related, but yeah. Uh, Renz Tolentino's in the house. What's up, Renz? He says, "Good evening, everyone." Oh man. Um, Graham says he's proud of you, but he was proud of you before. Rex is so cheap. Thanks, Graham. Unless you want that new one. I lost Graham's trust because of uh, there's no figure dropping, but uh, I appreciate that, Graham. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll get we it got back. anything? Do we got anything? We got to double check. Well, let's check. We, we got to wait till let. <laughs> I told Graham, I was like, oh my gosh, minutes. somebody just put up looking to trade crosshair for the Umbro Trooper. Wow. Wow. That is wild. Where'd they put that up? On the Discord? No, it's in a 1 6 Republic buy sell trade on Facebook. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Facebook? No. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, wow, that's crazy though. Somebody else, I got this trooper on order from Sideshow, and once I get it in hand, I'd like to trade it unopened and brand new for a Hot Toys Count Dooku. Hoth Princess Leia or Hot Toys Crosshair. Wow, who would have ever thought that people were gonna be trading Umbra troopers for crosshairs or trying to? That's wild. That's wild. Um What a time to be alive. Graham's <laughs> Graham saying, saying uh, welcome, Renz. We just started. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I, I wanted to go on and see if Hot Toys actually put anything up, but nope. We got nothing. We got nothing, man. man Justin, I really I'm sorry. Thought, I'm sorry, I, but I know, what do you have I, to say? What do you have to say for yourself? You know, I, <laughs> nobody, nobody's going to ever trust me again. Uh, <laughs> I put that out there. It started off just like with the cat woman. It started off as like a, and then it took on a life of its own, kind of like you with, uh, with Lando, but, uh, I failed, I failed the community like me with Lando. <laughs> I really thought all joking aside with all the stuff they've been doing for the marketing, for the dark sideline, like all this stuff I'm seeing, I just thought with the acolyte trailer, I was like, they, I feel like they would capitalize on that, but again, I, I really thought we were maybe getting an Obi Wan uh, release, but I guess we only have like not. one more week for them to release Obi Wan before they delay him again. So he's got to yeah, be it, imminent. I know, man. I, I need him. I need him because I, I told you I, I pre ordered that. Uh, Ray Ray ended up having another uh, Kenobi Vader. Yeah, I told you that, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Jose wants to count Dooku. Yeah, great figure. Great figure. Thank you, X-Man. going to show up. You failed this community. <laughs> X-Man said he still trusts me. I'm as soon as Graham, as soon as I gra gain Graham's trust again, he, he's going to let me know, but he said that that doesn't come lightly, so Give me Crosshair and a Harpy. Yeah, that's great. I, I would not trade Crosshair for one of those troopers. That that's that would be a no. Yeah, that's wild. That would be a no from me. Um cool trooper, but Crosshair is crosshair, you know? It's pretty wild. Um, oh, Christian needs a Dooku. He's on the hunt. Well, we didn't get anything, but also, you still have a little bit of time. It was still the week is still not over. You could have it, we could have a drop late tonight or early into the morning. Um, so there you go. But okay, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap up the show, guys. We got three hours in almost 12 minutes and we still got 24 in the house we held strong in the high 20s all night i'm just really as proud of, chat. All of you yeah awesome job yes yes that uh was a great great fun time went by very fast <laughs> Drop. <laughs> oh don't start don't start yeah mb dice says repaint trooper no yeah i know what you meant graham daddy <laughs> Repaint uh, Trooper, no. Oh, um, man. Yep, yep. So, okay. Well, great show, man. That was a lot of fun. I had a lot of great topics. A lot of uh, a lot of good uh, topics and points of discussion tonight. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to get to this one comment that uh, I think Miami's nemesis said because I forgot it. Steve, don't you have a don't you have a theater behind you, Steve? <laughs> I've done it all nine movies in one day. Yeah, it's it's I do, but. I also got two young kids. <laughs> it's kind of hard to sit and like just it's really hard for me to do uh, 24 hours straight of movies. Yeah, just like, all right, honey, I'm going to go down in the basement. See you in, in one day. Um, thank you, Christian. Chris says, go to panel. Yeah, thank you, bro. Really appreciate you tuning in, even though you're at Epcot, man. That's awesome. It's awesome. 
Graham says, as, as Graham bounced back in. Well done, gents. Peace be with you. Yes, you too, sir. Thanks we got for hanging Eric out Hanke. with us, Graham. Appreciate yeah, you, we, we got uh, Eric Hankey stopping in. Uh, another channel member says, hey, everyone. What's up, Eric? We are just finishing up because the stream's been going for three hours and 13 minutes at this point. So we said we wanted to cross the three-hour mark. We did it. We did it. We're at 313. We're not going to four. I'm proud <laughs> of us, man. I'm proud of us. Yep, that was fun, man. That was a lot of fun. Like I said, it went by really fast. So, uh, yeah, Justin, dude. do you want to uh, tell the people, are you working on anything? You got any videos coming out? What's going on the channel, man? Guys, I do. also I'll... go check out Justin. His, his, uh, his uh, link is in the description of my uh, of the video. The video. Go check out his YouTube channel, How You Figure. Yeah, man. I'd love any support. Anybody in the chat who's not subscribed, any support. Even just watching a video of mine and seeing if you like it and then subscribe. Like, any support I get is much appreciated. Uh i will have a video out on sunday i will have a video out on sunday i had planned Ooh. i was hoping for a release i the content's <laughs> been a little light this week uh, if you want to check out my latest video i, I did a uh, ranking of all the ahsoka figures so if you're into ahsoka you're into hot toys definitely check that out other than that i just want to give a thank you to you again steve for having me on i won't do the whole thing where i'm like oh man <laughs> it's an honor because i've already told you that but truly appreciate it man anytime Anytime you oh, need true. me on, man, you just, you just, you just give me a call. I appreciate give you. Give me a call. Ghostbusters. That's not how it goes, but that's what it reminded me of. That's the remix. That's the remix. The music's off. Jose says, great stream, guys. Yeah, guys, go check out, uh, go check out uh, Justin's channel. Awesome channel. He's been putting out consistent content and, uh, appreciate yeah, very you, cool. Guys. I still need to watch that Ahsoka video. I watched like the first 25% of it, maybe. Need to finish that, finish that Ahsoka ranking up. Um, yeah, man. Want to hear your thoughts on it? Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, and then. Thank you, X-Men. Yeah. And then either tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully later tomorrow, I'll have this review out for the uh, Maji Space Mono display case. I'm planning on a review or uh, filming that in the morning at some point uh, and hopefully getting that review out tomorrow. If not tomorrow, it'll be on Sunday, but I would like to get it out tomorrow. Um, yeah. So I'll be doing that. And then what do I have? I don't really think I have anything planned as of right now for, for next week. I'm going to focus on this mono review. I'm probably going to review Black Adam, which actually he comes tomorrow too. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to do a review on that figure. I'd Dude, like I want to see that. Re yeah. I, like I want to see that full first. review. Yeah. I was going to, I was going to ask you that. Are you going to watch the movie before you review the figure? I probably will. Okay. Yep. Yep. And I still want to do my Batmobile review, but like I said, I'm waiting till I get my Batman at this point, which will probably be the week of April 1st. So I'll have my Batman. That's when I want to do my jazzing Batmobile review. But I want the Batman in that. I want the Batman to be in the uh, in, in the uh, video. So uh, that's pretty much it. Chat, you guys are amazing tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, look at that channel member. The movie cannon is here. Hey, what's Thank up, Gio? Gio, for stopping in, dude. Good to see we you. We are man. at the three hour and 16 minute mark. So we are closing it down for the night jose says might as well go four hours um are you gonna give black adam the mono or are you gonna give the mono black Adam? <laughs> <laughs> he will probably go in there to be honest maybe or uh on my dc shelf um go right we'll next see. to those avatar figures yep right next to the avatar figures that i'm end up getting not <laughs> um but okay everybody guys thank you so much again chad you guys were awesome tonight really appreciate it um that's all i got until next time, collect carefully, everybody.